I went to the bonsai place this morning. Basically, they had a uh, open dag. Are you guys familiar with the words open dag? Anyways, they had an open dag at the, the bonsai place. And um, loads of normies like myself decided to drop by. Open day. That's it. There you go, Drone Rush. Gotta have them all. No, 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 dude. Some of the trees that they had for sale there. So basically, they had a bunch of trees that were for sale, right? And some of them were like 20 bucks and others were like 2,000 bucks. And then there were a bunch of trees that were like the most impressive ones. And they didn't have a price tag. All they, all they had was like a little number. And then you have to inquire about, you know, how much they cost. If you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. That's, that's the vibe I was getting. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But they were pretty sick. I posted a bunch of photos on my Instagram story. I actually meant to post more, but I didn't... Uh, I didn't do too much. So, you know, since I posted it on my Instagram story, all of you have already seen it, of course, but just in case you haven't. Like, stuff like this, dude, I love that so much. That looks insane. Some of them were already flowering. Ay ay ay. But yeah, this was really cool. So this was like, um, I don't know, like a 45-ish minute ride. I went to get it with my dad. So that was my morning. Woke up early to go to a bonsai place. I think this is what the kids call beekeeping age. I thought that beekeeping age didn't start until like at least another decade from now. But I, I think I think I've arrived early. Yeah. To wake up early on a Saturday morning to go with your dad to a bonsai place. Happy yeah. birthday, Logo. Let's star a start gate for you today. Let's <laughs> Ah, you watched my video, Dr. Mosey. <laughs> yeah, I did say that on accident, huh? Thank you very much, man. Okay, boomer. Bro, I am absolutely a boomer, Rexstar. Like, not of- I'm technically not of the age group, but I do live like one, you know? Like, for me on the weekend right now, I much prefer going to bed early so I can wake up early as well, rather than stay out late and wake up late. It, it's probably all the birthdays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, have you guys ever tried waking up at like 7 in the morning on a Saturday and then basically not have anything important to do? You know how hype that is? I know you've never done that, Rexstar. Rexstar goes to bed at 7 a.m., but... I, I don't, yeah, no, I've never really lived that life, though. I've always been pretty boring, I guess. Ah, it is what it is. 3 a.m. every day? Jeez, you wake up 3 a.m. every day, Zodiac? Damn, that is very early. Better yet, wake up at 11.30. You drive a truck for a living and that's the start time? Ay, ay, ay. Luckily, you're still young, you can still make change. See, these sort of things used to bother me a little bit, Thord, but nowadays... Don't really care. No, I, I know what I like doing, and I just do, and uh, yeah, that seems to work out. Loco, my family made a command. F Wait, what? This is a tree that your family planted? Is this a real Romanian tree? We made a command for that tri- Wait, what does that mean? You made a command? That's a sick tree, dude. This is what we call in Dutch a treurwil, but I don't know what you would call this in English. It's a uh, sad willow. I don't know what the English name of this would be. A weeping willow? Ah, there you go. Trauerweide. There you go. Weeping. Weeping willow? I see. So wait, what does this mean though? You said your family makes a command for this? So you guys have ordered a tree like this? Is that... Is that what's going on? I heard that apparently the most recent... Um, the most recent James Bond contender is Cillian Murphy. It's it's no longer... Uh, what's his name? Henry... Henry Cavill? Apparently this is the current rumor going around. That... This dude is supposed to be the next James Bond. Yeah, but he's already 47. I don't know how old James Bond is really supposed to be, but he looks like a Bond villain. I don't know, man. Doesn't Bond age? Well, what's his, uh, like the previous Mr. Bond, what's his name? He, um, he's pretty old now, right? Um, what's his name? I'm, I'm forgetting his name. We're used to seeing him in villainous roles, yeah, I guess. Craig, yeah, Daniel Craig. Yo, what a gritter. I appreciate you, man. Daniel Craig is 56 years old. Cillian Murphy is 47. That would be a bit weird, right? But I guess it could technically work. Sean Connery is also a bit old. That is, yeah. Oh wait, no, Sean Connery passed away. I'm thinking of the other guy. Yeah, Pierce Brosnan. He's also pretty old. That guy is 70. Yeah. Dude, this dude is 70? This is what we are all going to look like when we're 70, right? That's how it works. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This is this is 100%. Yeah, yeah. Every single one of the Twitch viewers. 100%. We'll all look like Pierce Brosnan when we're 70. Yeah, yeah. Loco for next James Bond? Um, no. I, uh, I don't think they'll ask me, man. 
I mean, I'm I'm not British. That's the literally the only reason. Yeah. But there's some British people in the chat, you know? They could be the next James Bond. Every single one of them. Their loss. You think I would make a good James Bond, Rex? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'll take that as a compliment. Look, I'm a British actor. I could be James Bond. Do it, War Gunner. You're in 1997, though. If that's, like, the, the, the year that you got born, I think you might be too young to be James Bond. But you got, like, another decade in you. Maybe in a decade, you know? Bond starts ordering coffee with Stroopwafel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stroopwafels are overpowered, man. At least you spelt it reasonably well. It isn't perfectly spelled, Peter, but you did a good attempt. Much better than what uh, Motlessis did a couple days ago. That was horrible. Like, we already know what you will look like when you're 65. That doesn't really seem to... <sighs> you think this is what I'll look like at 65? I thought this was supposed to be like 85. What do you mean? My teeth look pretty good there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because it's literally my teeth. I look like Biden. <laughs> so I'm in my prime. In this photo, I'm in my prime. That's perfect. Yeah. Grandpa Loco looking strong. I mean, I am look, looking at shit, man. I don't know if you can see that on stream. I am growing loads of gray hair now. I'm basically ancient. Yeah. I wish Loco was my grandpa. You guys are putting in weird compliments today. I wish Loco was my grandpa. Anyways, thanks guys. Video footage of a... <laughs> video footage of an observer approaching a boat of Terran Marines. Here's the observer. Observer's got a size reduction. Or, sorry, a size increase. In the most recent patch. The, on the PTR. It's invisible. You don't see it anywhere. It's very stealthy. Oh my god, dude. The ocean's actually crazy, man. Is What is this? What are we looking at? Is this a blue whale? This looks like a, a baby blue whale or whatever. These things are so enormous. It's a fish. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Dr. Mosey, for the clarification. It's a piranha. It looks like a small blue whale. Big shout out to State and Gemini for the cast. Tasteless and State. State and Gemini. Wait, are we are we now gonna start roasting Tasteless? Is that what we're doing? I thought the StarCraft 2 subreddit loved Tasteless. Now we're gonna roast Tasteless of all people? Can't believe it. You love Tasteless too? I had breakfast with Tasteless and Artosis the other day, dude. We talked about video games for a while. Yeah. He's tasteless, Loco? Yes, yeah. Dude, I retweeted this thing. This is insane, okay? Look look at this. Look at this. So this is current patch. 15 sentries going up against five archons. Now this is a, a very cursed engagement. It's weird because you never have 15 sentries and you would never fight anything with 15 sentries. This is the... This is the new patch. What the f Why 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 are the sentries I'm this is curse. I am not comfortable with this. Yeah, they they literally give you the tickle death now. <sighs> 15 sentries cost a whole lot more than 5 archons. Do they? How much is the cheapest archon? What is the what is the cheek the, the cheapest archon? A century is a century is okay. A century is a hundred minerals or sorry, fifty minerals, hundred gas each. The cheapest, I guess, they're all kind of expensive. I actually don't think it's that far off, is it? No, it'd be it'd be basically the same, right? Do I have to do math in my head? No, okay, it's not quite the same, but still, it's a bit cursed. Yeah, it's a bit cursed. Let the whining begin. I watched a little bit of the Hero Marine balance patch update video. Hero Marine doesn't even try to hide the fact that he's a Terran player. <laughs> he was saying that the Raven was useless and that, you know, it was funny. It was kind of funny. Yeah. I am by no means the, like, the least biased player out there, right? Like, I try really hard to be impartial. But obviously, I mostly play Zerg, so I'm maybe slightly, on accident, slightly biased. But listening to pro gamers talk about new patches is hilarious, man. We did it, Patrick. We saved Protoss. Build time reduced on the Observer and health increased. You know, I found out, by the way, what this means. Um, I didn't know in the video that I recorded about this yesterday, but apparently uh, the increase in 10 additional shields will now keep an Observer alive against Widowmind Splash. 
So sometimes what happens is you have a stalker and you have an observer and there's a widow mine over there and you have to like babysit your observer because otherwise it dies when the, you know, widow mine detonates on the stalker. Uh, right now, apparently it won't no longer die. Which is actually kind of a good change. Yeah, yeah. So it shouldn't die anymore to random splash. At least that's the idea. Which sounds like a pretty good idea, to be honest. 10 things that Warcraft 3 or Stormgate should copy from Dota 2. Dude, Grubby with the clickbait title. Holy shit, dude. This is an amazing title. 10 things. Anything that says 10 things, 5 things, 3 things. That's, that's very hot. That is very hot in 2024. Grubby has to make a living. That's true. I don't blame the man. I mean, I also do plenty of clickbaity titles. I tried to do less clickbaity titles lately, though. I'm kind of over clickbaiting, man. Like, at this point, I'm kind of like, eh, if you want to watch my videos, you'll want to watch them. Otherwise, you know, making too much clickbaity content or making content that's too clickbaity kind of feels like, please watch my video. It's really good, I promise. <laughs> it kind of feels like you're begging, you know? <laughs> so I do a little bit of it, but I, I, I don't know. Name seven things you do to clickbait. That's what I'll do, Fear Dragon. Seven things you won't believe I do to clickbait my audience. Uh, you unsub to at least five channels that make YouTube shorts. You have a... There's a Chrome extension or like a, any Chromium browser, I guess. You can do an extension that hides YouTube shorts. I'm not sure what I have to think about YouTube shorts at this point. It's, um... It's... I don't know. Like, I noticed they get quite a few views, which is weird. Like, my best performing bit of content that I've posted in 2024 so far is a, is a one minute long video. I think it is anyways. Where is it? I don't even remember which one it is. Oh yeah, this one. It's got 141,000 views. If you put a, the different social media combined, this this thing has got like 400,000 views. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Like I put in so much work into making videos and stuff and then like a one minute clip. No, this is a short. This is about Pride Protos. And I make fun about his name, and then I miss the entire fact that the guy is a Terran player. Uh, I don't know how much I can look up, I guess, how much money this video made. Can I figure this out? Shit, I actually... I can't. I need my laptop. Since I'm streaming on the More Loco channel as well, I can't switch. At this point. Yeah, no, I, I would have to look it up. I, I have no idea how much ad revenue shorts make, but I can imagine it's not much. You're the owner? Well, I can, but I'm currently logged into my More Loco channel. And I think if I switch, my stream on YouTube will probably go offline. Although, I guess I can test this. You think? Okay, I'm gonna try and switch. Okay, if my More Loco channel now is disconnected, that would be bad. No, 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 I, I tested it live. We, we, no, no, no. You guys thought I was gonna switch into a private browser? That sounds like a lot of effort, guys. Yeah, no, we're doing it live. It looks like the More Loco is still, okay. Uh, let's see. Analytics. The oldest StarCraft 2 book, or trick in the book. Since published, my short that has got 141,000 views. How much ad revenue do you think this video made, Chet? I don't know if I can give you the exact number, because I know there are some rules about that, but how much money do you think it made? $140, 28 cents, $5, $3, $100, $10, three euro, eight bucks, jeez. You guys have a, a very wide range. Whoever said $10 was the closest. <laughs> it is, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Like, making shorts, it's really good if your video gets like 5 million views, you know? But how in the world do you get shorts that get 5 million views? Like, you need an absurd amount of views to make shorts worthwhile. And it feels just a little funky. As much money as a new RTS player, I did upload a TikTok video. <laughs> yeah, we can look this up as well, guys. How much money do you think my TikTok that got 1.4 million views? How many? Um, so the TikTok is even weirder. I made one video that I posted on TikTok. This one, 1.4 million oh, views. How much money do you think this one made? I looked into it the other day. 1.4 million views. Zero. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Not even one cent. I got nothing. Nothing.
From what I understand on TikTok, they only monetize when a video is longer than 60 seconds or something. Which is weird because there's definitely ads on videos that are shorter than 60 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Like, I, I enjoy posting vertical videos because it's kind of fun and I think it's, you know, it's probably a good idea. As all, I've also found that it's like the easiest way to reach new people, you know? So like you can get quite a few new subscribers and stuff and new followers and whatnot uh, from posting vertical videos. But you don't do it for the monetization. Like considering the amount of effort and the, like, you know, I lose money on these shorts, dude. I did post a, a short just, or an Instagram reel. The Instagram videos actually do reasonably well. I think the average amount is probably like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15,000. Of people that watch, which is kind of nice, but also no money on, on Instagram. Nothing. No. No, Instagram does not make any money. It's okay though. What is that barf thumbnail? This was Twitch chat who helped me make a thumbnail. Twitch chat gave me advice. They wanted me to, uh... Yeah, somebody in the chat suggested that I also should be puking on the Nexus. To get her with the Corruptors. It was a great plan, to be honest. That thumbnail is still up on my YouTube channel. But you know, you can't monetize everything, right? And that's probably not a bad idea. You thought it was puking into my mouth? No, bro, what? Can't believe this. Upside down videos are the new meta? Really? I don't know, man. Thanks to the color green. Yeah, yeah, maybe it does look a little nasty. I had to have AC installed in this home for this room and for the bedroom. And people told me it was basically unaffordable, okay? That it was something that you could never ever really do. And it did cost a bit of money, but it is very nice. <laughs> it really is. It really, yeah. Loco is a billionaire. Absolutely. Yacht reveal when? That's basically how people talk about AC, though, dude. Like people, people in the Netherlands very frequently seem to associate having AC with extreme wealth. <laughs> like if you have air conditioning in your house, it must mean that you live on a yacht or you at least have one. You can get a window unit. Yeah, but our windows are weird. Let me show you guys, for the Americans in the chat, a Kant Keeper. It's what we call them in the Netherlands, okay? These are very common in the Netherlands. And I think in most places in, again, the beautiful country of Europe. This is how a lot of our windows work. I found the lowest quality screenshot ever. So rather than the windows sliding, most of them have two modes. So this is one window that can do both things. It either tilts inwards, like so, or it like can go, like this This is the type of window that I have over here. These are in most places in the Netherlands. You can't install a window unit on one of those. It's really convenient if you have your bow and arrow, which of course is what we use for our home defense in the Netherlands. Um, it's very convenient because it's kind of like, you know, those castles with the little slits where you can shoot arrows out of. That's, that's I think why we have them. Yeah, it's to fend off archers. You'll start a sliding window business in the Netherlands and get rich. People don't like sliding windows. America has invented windows that can open all the way. That's crazy. <laughs> Took you a while to understand how windows work in Europe? Yeah. Your windows pop out? What? Glass is heavy as hell, dude. What do you mean? You can just pop out your window? Uh, no, I do have screens in here too. You can have screens. Like there are screens on like the outside of this thing. I saw a thing, uh, I saw a meme about this. I don't know if I can find this, about German window shutters. This is a video from 16 years ago. A 16 year old video on YouTube. What the hell, what is this? German windows? And this is really cool. This, the shutters here are called a roulade. And what you do is you pull this strap way out from the wall like that. And then you just kind of let it up and check out the shutters that come down. And it makes the whole room really dark. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, so dude. Right now it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, but it looks like it's... These are so common in Germany. We don't have those very much in the Netherlands, I don't think. But I have seen those in many places. 
I don't think you have those at all in the US, do you? Foreign opening. Exposure to CMS privacy so These are made out of metal. Thermal insulation. When yeah. installed correctly, a roller Very shoulder rich can people do? Really? This is a rich people window thing? Or door. So this part right here is called the disguise reel with belt. You use it. We have them in Romania. Up for brain down the lower are those chest. bulletproof? Sun this is the first thing you guys go to? Are they bulletproof? Guys. <laughs> we have curtains? Right, okay. I have curtains too. <laughs> Those are the important questions. <laughs> they should make them out of Kevlar, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> it will be arrow proof. Absolutely, it will be arrow proof. Yeah. They're arrow resistant. Maybe that's a better way to say it. Yeah. So they do windows a little differently, is what I'm saying. So getting AC in those windows is tough. So the only way you can properly get AC is either with like one of those shitty mobile units that makes a lot of noise and where you're basically feeding half the hot air back indoors. Doesn't really seem to work very well. Or you need like this stuff that is like a split unit, you know? So you have like one thing on the wall and then the other thing on like, I don't know, outside. <sighs> yeah, I tried a mobile unit for a while. Remember I had that in the background of streams in the summertime? And you could basically, while you're watching my stream here the entire time, in the background? It wasn't great. It's very uncommon though for people to have like a central aircon in their homes. Like uh, for the entire home, not even like new buildings. Like new buildings, I, I saw they like, I actually looked at this uh, at some point when they were like building like a whole bunch of very nice apartments relatively close by. These were like, you know, they sold them as like penthouses, right? So they were like, you know, they were properly expensive. And even those did not come with AC. Like there's people living there right now that probably spent like a million and a half to live in that flat and they, you don't have AC. So it just gets super warm in the summertime. Like a lot of glass windows everywhere, right? That's kind of like the, the trend to just put glass everywhere. You're on the top of the building. It's gonna get really, really toasty in the summer. Me waking up and seeing widow mine nerfs are finally happening. That's all of us, man. This is a Terran player right over here. This guy's kind of hyped, but he gets it. He gets it. Does anybody else own this or knew it existed? A widescreen DVD movie? Special limited edition DVD? What? No. It's touched up cinematics? Oh. Cool. I did not know that that existed. I was scrolling through my YouTube feed and thought these two posts planted right next to each other was accidental comedy gold. Hi everyone. Where was cheese invented? Italy, Poland, Egypt, America? Easy, easy answer. Of course it's America. Everybody knows America invented cheese. July 4th, 7076 is when cheese was invented. What a great poll, yeah. Could be Egypt, could definitely be Egypt. The Egyptians were pretty dang advanced, man. All other cheeses were derived from American cheese. True. The universe began in 1776. What is it, buddy? What is it, buddy? Come. Are you okay? Milo has been meowing a ton lately. I don't know what his problem is. What is it? Is he in heat? I don't think milk cats generally go in heat. No, he's just, I don't know. I think it's springtime. He's just, um, yesterday, dude. He woke us up at 4.30. I don't know why. He never does that. He was just in the corner of our bedroom. Meow. 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 My God. Did he finally hit puberty? Maybe, man. That's normal cat behavior? Yeah, our cats never do that. The history of cheese? This is a Wikipedia page we need to go and check out. The production of cheese predates recorded history beginning well over 7,000 years ago? So the answer was not America, guys. In case you were still contemplating this poll, it was not America. Considering uh, modern day Poland and Italy didn't really exist like that, it has to be Egypt. Although apparently it predates modern history, or, or recorded history rather, so it has to be Egypt, I guess, but... There is no conclusive ed evidence indicating where cheese making originated. Oh. Alright. Yeah, we're trying to figure out who was the earliest Protoss. Good, I can smell this photo. Can you guys smell it too? 
<laughs> Cheese market in Italy. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay, here we go. What is this? What did you link me? It's this guy again? Uh, risotto culi fungi, culi fungi, cotanda. Is that the guy's entire Instagram account? Him putting cheese on things? No, he's got other things too. He's got a lot of views actually, man. Yeah, they got a decent amount of views. Okay, let's watch uh, this one. Spaghetti aglio olio. Alright, alright. Oggi andiamo, dando un buongiorno e buon weekend a tutti. Andiamo a, a fare un hey, piatto hey, di spaghetto. The cheese! Veramente già l'abbiamo fatto. Il classico della cucina italiana. Aglio. Aglio e peperoncino. Una, due, tre, le cento di tre, cottanta. Due! Ne, 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 ne. So this man exclusively does Italian content, right? How many of his viewers do you think are actually Italian? I want to say less than 10%. Yeah, you think it's 40%? Really? Maybe, man. It's kind of amazing, though. Yeah, I think about 10% are Italian, about 20% are Protos, and then the rest is whatever. Yeah, it's amazing. Give me your controversial StarCraft 2 opinion. Okay. Korean mandatory military service should be changed to 18 month mandatory stint as StarCraft 2 players to prop up the scene? What? Hmm, I don't know, man. No, I don't know. Motherships shouldn't be abductable by Vipers and have 16 interceptor launch bay upgrade? It's not in by, you just suck. That's not very controversial. No, no, this is, this is basically what everybody says. Game was better with the Mothership core? Oh my god. Sentry is the most interesting Protoss units and Protoss games are funnest when force fields are used. This is not very controversial either. No. Zerg wins basically every tournament. If you remove several from the stats, Zerg still win basically every tournament. And yet this sub is non-stop whining from Salty Tulsa but Terran? The Zerg Cabal isn't real, it's just a consequence of your failure to pay attention? Well, the threat is, give me your controversial StarCraft 2 opinion. Medivac Boost was the reason why bad Protoss would look away and die within seconds, not Widowmines. Medivac Boost takes away a lot of the design space that could be used elsewhere. Alright. Alright. Co-op is the best mode of the game by a massive margin in terms of execution, and both campaigns and multiplayer don't even hold a candle to it? Bro, people are very confidently wrong. Immortals should be reduced back to their original price, and Colossus should get a small damage buff. Ultralisks should be bigger. I don't care if it buffs Zerg, I want Ultralisks to be Ultralisks. It gets countered by Wolves and SimCity, might as well make the Zerg Battering Ram. Yeah. Spellcaster should have differences if you're under Diamond, e.g. Fungal from Burrowed. See, I gotta contain myself, because I want to respond to every single one of them, and strongly disagree with pretty much everything. But I know this is supposed to be a controversial threat, so I'm, I'm, I'm not. Heart of the Swarm is at least as entertaining as Wings of Liberty. The Wings of Liberty interface was better. Cruise Threat is one of the worst mechanics in the game. Legacy of the Void has the best cast of characters and it isn't even close. It does have Alarak. StarCraft 2 is great in Brood War. I mean, that's also not very controversial though, if you look at just player numbers. Let's go to the downvoted one. Stormgate is better. A. It's not. Playing Zerk or Terran is two to three leagues more difficult than playing Protoss? Bro, some people have just never played the game. Have you, like, have you ever played the game? I would say Protoss is probably slightly easier to ladder with than Terran and Zerk. Slightly. They're all hard. But saying that Terran and Zerk is leagues more difficult than Protoss? That's wild. Yeah, leagues are massive, dude. Protoss players, or Protoss pros rather, are lazier than the rest. This one is nice. The game hasn't really been valid for like two years now, and any GSL winners in the last two years shouldn't be counted towards the old list, as it's watered down and poor. There are too many starting workers and the game's too fast. I miss Brood War pacing. Bro, Brood War is doing really well, though. Imagine calling the pros lazy. I mean, there's definitely periods where the pro gamers don't play that much. That's definitely a thing. You still need to self-motivate, right? But, um, yeah.
Do I really want to play this? You know, I played getting over it at some point in the past. And it's one of those games that I don't believe really needed a sequel. This is not by the same developer, this is not by Bennett Foddy, who gives me inspiring quotes every time I fail in that particular game. This game, however, is called... Well, a difficult game about climbing. All I have is... W to pull myself up. That's what it says over here. I can move my hands with the mouse, and then... I guess my mouse buttons for grabbing stuff? I have not seen an- oh, okay. Ah, okay. So I have a left mouse. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Left mouse button is my left hand. Okay. Right mouse button is my right hand. Oh! Guys, I'm a natural. This is easy. Okay, do I have any grip issues? No, 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 no grip issues at all. Am I naked? Oh yeah, I definitely see a little bit of... A little bit of butt. I am slipping, yeah. I am slipping. No grip issues yet? No, no, no. That rock does look a little slippy though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So, can I... Okay. Alright, alright, I see. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing going on, don't worry about it. Um, the only problem is that I keep running out of mouse pad. So, the real move that you usually do when you're climbing is to use your feet. Because humans are, you know, much stronger with their feet than they are with their... Uh... But anyways, doesn't matter. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I almost made it. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Grab that thing. Oh, easy. First try. First try. Do I have to press my left and right mouse button, by the way? My, my left and right mouse buttons very aggressively, or do you think it's okay if I just do light touches? I think, I think, it, yeah, yeah, the, the harder I press it, the more firmly I hold, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Is this using the same game assets? Because it really does- <gasps> What? I didn't even do anything. It really does look familiar. Oh! Just had to do a little bit, a little bit of a jump. Just a tiny leap of faith. Is it possible for me po to pause the game? Okay, I can- I, I I brought some some rice cakes, and uh, I have some cookies as well. So I feel like I'm well prepared for this. Yeah, a little bit of ASMR break or a bit of an ASMR break over here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Where do I go? I think I go down. Oh my god! I'm scraping my fingernails. <laughs> This is not a good way to go down. Do I have to make that jump to the left? So the more I do this, the more I scrape down. Alright, <laughs> alright, alright. This is going quite well. I think we called this beginner's luck though. Wait, so where do I go? I thought I had to go up. Of course! 
Naturally. I'm assuming you can keep going for a while, yeah. I have to keep resetting my mouse pad. I need a vertical mouse pad, dude. I need my mouse pad in portrait mode. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Make the jump. Make the jump. Oh, okay. I think I can just go this way. Let me just do a quick little speed run strip. Okay. Uh, oh! See? I'm telling you guys. Can I really make that jump? So there is W as well. Yeah, W I think... W to pull me up. Or space? I think I'm gonna try and get as high up on this thing as possible and then... Hit W, let go of both. <laughs> okay, I panicked. <sighs> Wait. Oh, you can kind of hold on to it a little bit. How do I? <sighs> I'm just gently caressing the rocks. animation is amazing. <sighs> Do you think I can go anywhere else? I still don't know how I'm gonna do that, though. No? I believe I spent 10 bucks in this game. <laughs> definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah, definitely worth it. I gotta be incredibly accurate here. Yeah, if I'm not accurate, my guy falls. Oh, that's actually really fun. It feels like I need to be very precise. There we go. Can this hold my weight? I look like Tarzan right now, dude. What are the controls? Left hand, left mouse button. Right hand, right mouse button. Other than that, mouse cursor. So I'm, I'm just using two buttons and my mouse. That's all I am doing. This is all I'm moving around. It's terrible. Uh, I have to go to the left. <sighs> this game can be played one-handed, yeah. It's kind of like playing... Oh, Zerk. No! No, 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 no! Wrong side!
It really is just like Zerk. You may try very hard, but ultimately, it'll all come crashing down. Okay, time to go again. I figured this uh, this section out. Yeah, I made uh, too many drones. Okay, look at your hand. Whoa! Okay, look at your hand. Dude, my my. Why does my tricep look massive at this angle? Look at this, dude. How is my tricep as big as my thigh? Sorry. Maybe this is just how gamers are built. Sorry, I don't mean to be objectifying men, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's 2024. We only objectif- No, I mean, we- we- Anyways. Go. No, 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 sorry. That's how your tricep looks in real life. Your triceps are as big as your thighs, Val? You monster, dude. Very nice. I knew it. All that Protoss gameplay, right? <laughs> Protoss is hard work, man. Either that or my legs are very small. I guess that's also true. Okay. Oh, sh I forgot my swinging position. That's what she's- no, 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 no. I think it was over here. I think this was the spot. We go on the second swing. One. Two. Oh! I'm a gamer, dude! And climb up this mountain, I don't care what I do. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, it's not even a mountain. Climbing up on the tree branch, I don't care what I do. Whoop! Easy. 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 Oh, oh, no, no, no! Climbing up on the mountain, I don't care what I do. Ba 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 da ba 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 Two swings. One. Two. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was that was not very good. That was arguably the worst. I think I let go a little too late. So I'm swinging from here. Oh! That's the spot. That's the spot. I was too far down. Oh, I'm going very far. You know what's nice about going very high up? That I can fall really far down. <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite part about going this tall. Oh, it's... okay. It's a little moist here. I wonder if there's, like, checkpoints. Like, is this a checkpoint? This kind of looks like a checkpoint to me. <sighs> oh, let's go, dude. All right, nice. Everybody? Move your hands to the right. Everybody, now move your hands up in the air. Now to the left. <laughs> this game is easy, man. When does this game get hard? The nil scratching is sadly covered now by water. I know. We're all gonna miss it. Never mind. The nil scratching is still audible. I may fall all the way down. For fuck's sake. Streamer moment. Does everyone still hate Winter Starcraft? Yeah, yeah. We all hate that guy. That guy, dude. Can't believe it. Did you miss drama? Absolutely, dude. The Winter Post- wait, wait. The Winter Post was like this post about you, Loco? Wait, there was a post about me? Loco, the most overrated caster? He deleted his post? What the hell is this? Was it you, Gabe? Was it you? 
People on the SC2 Reddit have all sorts of strong opinions. But they forget the most important things, to follow Locote von Socials and sub on Twitch. Thank you very much, Imbalocust. Tell me why? Why make such a meticulous post about not liking someone? I mean, when I'm lactose intolerant, I just don't drink milk. Judging from the emotes and the lame jokes, you really thought he was funny? Oh man, I wish I could have written or I could have read the post. What a shame. I could get more analysis from a Zerkling trying to understand quantum physics? Okay, he doesn't like my game analysis. Absolute cringe post. Yo, look at this, the community having my back. I didn't see this post when it was there, but I'm... Aw, oh, that's kind of cute. I don't think a lot of people saw this post, but... Alright, somebody doesn't like me. That's okay, man. You don't have to like me, guys. That's totally fine. <laughs> that's why we have... A beautiful community with loads of other people you can watch instead. Uh, both Winter and Loco catching heat. I don't think I really caught any heat, dude. It was just one guy. He probably got downvoted a bunch and then he felt shamed and he deleted his post. Having haters is a sign of fame. I don't really actually experience a lot of haters in general, man. Like, maybe it's, I don't know. Like, I. There's not really that much hate going on in the StarCraft community in general, right? I mean, I feel like it's not nearly as toxic as some other gaming communities out there, but maybe that's also partially due to the fact that, like, the StarCraft community is relatively small and relatively old. Yeah, uh, there's some people that people dislike. Yeah, like Husky kind of has a bad reputation. There's a bunch of people that have a bad reputation. I don't know if the League of Legends community is still as toxic as it was, like, a, a decade ago, though. Maybe it is, I don't know. Did you just call me old loco? Yes. Oh, what? You can... Really? So we can find out what it said? I've been on this crazy SC2 roller coaster or coaster called Locos Commentary, and let me tell you, it's been a wild ride. I can't wrap my head around why he's popular. First off, his comments are about as insightful as his cheese strategy against the seasoned player. I mean, come on, Loco, give us something more pro profound than that was a nice move. Let us talk about entertainment value. I've been seeing more exciting games of Minesweeper than some of his casts. Guy didn't even really try, man. I feel like the emojis are very ChatGPT-ish. Yeah. Happy StarCrafting, my fellow puzzled players. Interesting. All right. Happy StarCrafting, my fellow puzzled players. What a guy. Yeah, it is definitely something that happens on the, uh, the internet, right? Um, there's always people that feel the need to point out negativity. I feel like it's a little less so, or maybe it just doesn't affect me anymore. Like, when I first started, I noticed I was quite bitter about these sort of things, but these days I'm like... <laughs> I honestly don't really care. I mean, if there's one thing I've learned from making content for a long time, is you never can please any, like, everyone. It's just not possible, man. Like, changing your content based off of one random Redditor is dumb. Yeah, I should not do that. What did you just link, dude? An Invicta watch that has a watch on the watch? This thing has two watches? In one watch? Yeah, that's really ugly. I'm sorry, man. I just... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't, man. I, I, I can't. Why does it have a two-tone bezel? But it's not a GM... Anyways. I need this. A scratch pop... A scratch pad pro? This is so bad. 10 out of 10 Photoshop for an Amazon product. I like I like the other cats that are in the in the call right now. Oh, this is part of the product. $30? $30 for a piece of cardboard. Now look, I've been spending more than that on plastic. On the Warhammer figures, okay? But $30 for cardboard goes a bit far. $30 for pieces of plastic, however? I don't think, yeah, exactly. I don't think I want to train my cat to be scratching my laptop anyways. Now, there's a video. The Scratchpad Pro. So you don't get interrupted? No, bro, you're basically training your cat that they should use the thing. Very fun product, though. $30 for a piece of cardboard really does seem a bit much. Dude, I told this already on the stream, and I thought it was so funny, because just like two weeks ago, right? Maybe a week and a half ago or so? 
the taxi driver or the, the shuttle driver in Los Angeles was talking to me about the Netherlands, right? He was asking like, hey, where are you from, blah, blah, blah. I said I'm from the Netherlands. He's like, oh yeah, there's a lot of rain, right? I was like, yeah, there's usually a lot of rain. He's like, yeah, I can know that because I'm from the south. And I'm sitting there thinking, California is as south as you can go on this coast, no? But California's not the south, Chet. That is, no, 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 no. No, that is not the south. The south is not actually the south. The south is like more south than the southern part of the west coast, right? That's what it is. Yeah, the south is the southeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are things that are not obvious to somebody who's not from the states. The south is where you hear banjos? Ah, okay. I gotta pay attention to the banjos. I see, I see. Not all the way east? Okay. So South Carolina is not south? It's just south of North Carolina? <laughs> whoa, whoa, Rushy. That came from Rushy of all people? <laughs> Alright then. Alright, I see, I see. I mean, it's true. So there's guys from the American South watching this right now and they're like, just staying very silent in the chat. Is that what's going on at the moment? Or do they not have internet? Like, how do I... <laughs> Jeez, you guys are so mean. These are the types of things I don't even say about Belgium. I just think them. No, 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 no. I'm in the south. Belgium is literally south of me right now, dude. Literally. What's the most southern country in the EU? In the European Union? The most southern country? Italy? No. Greece, I guess. Is Greece? Wait, hold up. It would be Greece, right? Most... <laughs> definitely not France, no. Most southern part of the European Union. Oh, technically it's... Ah, uh, you know what? Technically speaking, there's the Canary Islands. That are part of Spain. And I guess there's like, you know, a bunch of other regions too. Technically speaking, these places are in European Union because, you know, they are, I guess, islands that they used to have back in the early days of the old, yeah. Excluding things like that, how, how much do we... Aruba is technically part of the EU, I guess. Well, it gets confusing because there's, there's countries that are part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands and then there's cities that are part of the Netherlands, and they get to vote in like Dutch, it, it gets confusing. We don't really have to, um, uh, let's see. Most southern point of the European Union. Yeah, territories and like, it's hard to say exactly what it is otherwise. In mainland Europe, only including the European continent proper, mainland of the 24 member states, excluding islands such as Cyprus, Malta, or Ireland. Yeah, those three, right? Right, Rumpus? All right, it would indeed be in Spain. I mean, that's what it says over here. I didn't come up with this. It would be... Punta de Tarifa. Really? How is that the most southern area? Where is this? This is further south... ...than Greece? Huh, yeah, it is. Interesting. So... That is... that I, I figured Greece would be further south. Or Italy, even. Apparently, it's literally right there. Get the ruler out, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm assuming the Wikipedia guys already got their ruler out. That's more south than the northernmost point in Africa. Yep, yeah, yeah. Guys, I said Spain at the beginning of this. And I don't even know why there was a discussion. I know, says Edmin. We should have just... We should have just believed you right from the start. I will never doubt your wisdom ever again. It is obvious you've reached the next level. Yeah. This- this is the American South? <laughs> Texas and Florida don't even get to be part of it? Whoa, there's a state called StarCraft. Look at that. Sick, dude. Wait, you guys just said South and North Carolina weren't part of it. I don't understand the rules. Look, I'm from Texas and I'm offended. You're offended you're not part of the South? <laughs> that Texas and Florida make the money, the others are South? Okay, I see the implication there. Bro, how can, like, what? It's at the, it's like a DPS check? Yeah, maybe it is. The only problem is that this is a DPS check in the tutorial. 
This is the start of the f game. Yeah. I've been at the start of the game for three hours. Like, I did this part last stream and I didn't really struggle that much with it. It's after I fell down past this point that I realized that I couldn't make this one reliably. Like... I... I don't know what I do wrong. Loco, this is starting to get expensive. Your failure here is a metaphor. To learn for what, please resume climbing. Rob Dubbin. Thank, thank you, Gavilan. Thank you, man. I'm leaning in real life. I'm boosting my character. I'm doing a little swing. I let go at the correct moment. I don't do a full flip. We still don't make it. What I'm trying to figure out is how I have made it from this exact spot, but sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Uh, I wanted to let go a little later this time around, but that doesn't work at all. Oh, okay, let's see what the guy does. Like, he, he's not even, he's not even remotely struggling here. He, like, shoots past that rock. Why does he make so much, how does he make that much distance? How does he cover that much terrain? Like, he goes all the way to, like, right over there. Yeah, he almost jumps too far. But how? Haven't I done the exact thing? <laughs> it shows his mouse in the top right hand corner as a little squiggly thing. Oh yeah, you can see his mouse movement, I guess. He makes this look really easy. So he goes like that. He does a relatively slow move though with the mouse. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that the exact same jump every time? Me, dude. I'm like half a centimeter short. Oh. Okay, I feel like I did the exact same thing. Easy now. Don't, don't struggle over here now. Okay. Just go to the little pond. Just go to the small, tiny little pond. There's a little pond here that is sort of like a checkpoint except that I've already gone to that checkpoint like four times and I still managed to fall all the way down but <laughs> I've gotten so much worse <laughs> hold on <Yep. laughs> <sighs> <sighs> GG we beat the game GG, we did it. We've made it into second 16 of the speed run. Yeah, second 16 of a seven minute speed run, we got there. Loka, how'd you get here? Can you show us again? I, I'm afraid I will have to show you again in a moment. Because <sighs> you can fall here to the right. How do I know? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. It is time for the stones. Don't go that way, Loco. This is the way. Wait, I did the shortcut? What can I say? I didn't know I did the shortcut, but... I can't read how many months for pop from Chile. Thank you very much, Sushi. 20 months, dude. 
appreciate you. <laughs> okay, chat. Breathe. Oh, that looked painful. Okay, I hate my mouse speed. Gabe, stop hovering over that, that clip button. S s no, stop hovering over it. There's nothing to clip. There is nothing to clip. Oh, maybe I can take that, that purple plant. That one. Ah, that's the way. Stop pointing me with that arrow, game. I don't like that arrow. I have to go to the left. Yeah. I think so, anyways. The left makes me feel more comfortable, because if I fall, I don't... <laughs> At least I don't fall to, you know, right over here, right below me. I feel like this is easier with a controller. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a hard rate problem. I tried the controller and it didn't really seem to be that nice. Because the joysticks are still joysticks, you know? And joysticks kind of suck. At least for accuracy. They're great if you have aim assist, though. Yeah, that's true. The radial pattern is kind of... Kind of nice. You don't always want the radial pattern. <laughs> no! Wait, there was something over there in the bottom. I, I think I'm dead. Yeah. I think I'm done, guys. <sighs> this game is not treating me kindly. It's nice if there would be some more safe checkpoints in games like this, man. The fact you go all the way back is really part of the reason, I guess, why it's kind of hype. There are checkpoints? Where? I've made it to the next pond, but you just, you can fall out of that section so easily. The second checkpoint, you can't fall back? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think that's a smart way of doing it. So there are hard checkpoints in the game. Okay, that's nice. So at least you can't do too much failure. I mean, you can fall back like 20% of the game at a time, I guess. Yeah, that's usually how it goes, Philip. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm also super tired, guys, because again, I woke up at 3 in the morning. Oh, maybe we'll give this game a try again tomorrow. I don't know, dude. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. I like how the exit game button, by the way, says rage quit. Yeah. Fantastic. Anyways, gamers. Thank you very much for being here today. I'll be back again tomorrow. Same time as today. I think I'm gonna go chill for a little bit and probably go to bed early because I am fucking tired. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for the support today. Hope you enjoyed watching me fail miserably. <sighs> I can't believe I got stuck on the same fucking thing again. Ay -ay 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 -ay. I've played this game for three hours now and I'm at the start of the game. Like, it feels like I'm stuck at the tutorial. And I still don't know anything else other than like, do the jump better. I rage quit too late. Can't refund now. No, I don't refund games I've streamed. Nah, I don't know. We can't do that. Anyways, thank you all very much for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out. And I hope to see you once again tomorrow for another live stream. In the meantime, I highly recommend you go and check out my YouTube video. There's a, a new main channel video that went live today. One of the very best games of StarCraft 2 you can probably watch. So I recommend you go do so. It is a best of one.
a single match actually between Clem and Cyril. So if you like high level StarCraft, here's the link. All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye. Ooh. I want to go watch the second Dune movie, guys. I haven't seen it yet. Laurent's currently out of town for a couple days. Is it? Hmm. I have never gone to the cinema by myself. I've never gone to the movies by myself. But there's one pretty close by. And obviously, they're playing Dune 2 tomorrow. Am I an absolute loser if I go to the movies myself? Just by myself? Or is that, like, actually amazing? I don't know how this works. You've gone millions of times. Well, that doesn't prove anything. Oh, God, I mean, sorry, Rumbus. No, sorry. You're a winner as well. Sorry, Rumbus. Sorry. Solo movies is God tier. What if I go to the movies by myself and I'm like, oh, this is way better. <laughs> How does that work then? It's like, no, 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 no. I'll go by myself. I go to the movies by myself sometimes. I go to the movies by myself sometimes. That way you don't have someone talking to you during the movie. Laurent never talks during movies, dude. Never. Sarah Muadib. <laughs> My life for Arrakis. <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of beautiful. Dude, by the way, for those of you unfamiliar in the StarCraft community, um, there's been a lot of drama today because somebody has been doing this ranking over the last weeks with very elaborate decision-making and using statistics, right? And he ultimately came to the conclusion that the greatest StarCraft II player of all time is Maru. There's analysis, there's history, there's all kinds of stuff going on over here, man. This guy brought up graphs and... So he put Serral at number two, written by Meisenhauer. They have four followers on Twitter. That's kind of sick, man. Who do they follow? He probably only follows Maru. Let's see. Who, who does he follow? Okay, I have no idea. He's an influencer? I guess so, yeah. Interesting. Saro apparently the number two. Guys, there's this weird obsession, okay? Now, I don't want to be a jerk about it. But I don't think the GSO Code S is the highest level of StarCraft 2 anymore. By any stretch. Like, it used to be in the early days of StarCraft 2 that the GSO Code S had the highest level of competition. But I don't think that's quite the case anymore. No, Serral's like, like $400,000 in tournament earnings ahead of Maru at this point. Like, it's not even really particularly close. Yeah, they did a finals, a grand finals at Katowice just a month and a half ago, and Serral won over Maru 4-0. Like, come on, man. At some point, like, there's links over here to games played in 2018 and everything. Is he? Oh, he's not even counting Kato? He's not counting Katowice at all? Oh, interesting. All right, well, I don't know. Yeah, why would, like, that, that's the thing, right? That's what people always say. Like, Serral should win a GSO Code S before he can be considered the GOAT. But why would Serral, like, if you are Serral, right, and you're comfortably making, you're comfortably making hundreds of thousands every year, playing the game and winning basically against everybody. Why would somebody like Serral go to Korea to play the GSO Codes? Just to prove haters wrong? Like, he doesn't give a shit, dude. Like, look at, look at this. Total prize pool, if you win the GSO Codes, which is like a two-month-long tournament, is $3,000. $3,768. That doesn't even cover the return flight. Okay, maybe it does. But, like, that, you know, then you have to live in Korea for, like, a long time? There's no way, dude. The GSO Code S is a really fun tournament, but it's it's definitely a little overrated as far as, like, prestige goes nowadays. It used to have a prize pool literally, like, I don't know, 20 times as big. It's crazy. Yeah, imagine if you're a Korean pro gamer, though. And, like, you do well in the GSO Code S, you make it to, like, the top 16. There you go. There's two seasons, I think, this year. You make 600 bucks. How are you going to do anything? Like, how, how are you... What, what are you... How... <laughs> I don't even know where to start that sentence. Korea is also not a cheap place to live, man. That's pre-tax money as well. Yeah, it's... I don't know. No, that is $600 one time. That is $600 one time for one tournament. So if you're top 16 in the GSO Code S, 
in the upcoming season, and I think it's the same one for, this, for the current one, you get $603 if you're a top 16 player. After taxes, I think income taxes in, in Korea are relatively low. But, like, I don't know what rent is like if you live in Seoul in Korea, but I can imagine it's really expensive. Like, if you have, like, a one-bedroom apartment in Seoul, how much would that cost? Obviously, it depends on the neighborhood and everything, but... This probably doesn't cover a week, dude. <laughs> and then you, you have two tournaments like this a year? I don't know. At the same time, are the earnings of the GSL... Yeah, dude, the, the players that play GSL are really good. Like, this is not a guaranteed win for anybody. It should be a big deal that Serral became the best ever without the Pro League and Team House training that the Koreans had for years. So Serral did play the GSL Code S, by the way. Uh, or not the GSL Code S, he did play GSL versus the World. Um, so this is a tournament that they used to do where they invited, like, I think half of the participants were GSL Code S players, and then the other half were the World players, right? This was a tournament that was played in 2018, GSL versus the World, Serral won that one. And then there is 2019 here as well. Serral won that one too. Like... Uh, how, how, how would Maru be considered a GOAT? I don't understand, man. I don't even want to read the article. That's the worst part about it. Like, this guy wrote this entire thing. I don't even want to read it. I, I, I don't know, man. It's just... It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. The only thing I guess that you could argue is that Maru has been playing this game professionally. This is a weird photo, by the way. What the hell is going on? Gets his cast taken off his hand? Is this how you take a cast off of somebody's hand? What the f*** is going on here? What kind of hospital are we at? There's a bunch of foldable chairs in the background in an upside down cardboard box. Oh, they're making a cast off his hand. Ah, Still weird. Maybe we can ask Bing. Bing. Summarize this article for me in less than 100 words. Let's not save this conversation. I agree, dude. My privacy here is at stake. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on right now, bro? Guys, don't listen to this, okay? Shh. The article titled Maru, Greatest Player of All Time highlights the remarkable career of the StarCraft player Maru. It details his achievements. All right. All right, cool. That was it, guys. The summary was still too long for me to finish. I do love Copilot, actually. Copilot is pretty good. Yeah, I think he's just straight up wrong, honestly. Maru is obviously really good, but I don't think he's several levels of good, especially not at the current moment. I think GSL Code S overall is overvalued. It used to be certainly the most prestigious tournament back in the day, but it slowly fizzled out over time, dude, to the point where right now, like, I'm pretty sure if you were to ask Maru who he thinks is the greatest player in the world, he would say Serral within two seconds. Maru might say a rogue. Yeah, all these guys are also kind of trolls, so it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Yeah, we can ask Bing. Who is the greatest StarCraft II player in the world? Oh, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not a good question. Who is the StarCraft II GOAT? The greatest of all time. Here we go. That's a better question. This guy's bringing up MVP. He's not even bringing up Maru. Oh, dude, roasted. Roasted by Bing. Serral, MVP, innovation, and reign of all people. Dude, he doesn't even know who Maru is. Maru who? Ask co-pilot. That's incredible. What about Maru? In the grand arena of StarCraft 2, Maru's name shines brightly. Is he better than Serral? Whoa, whoa, that got really big. Comparing them directly is challenging due to different regions, playstyles, and eras. Both players have left an indelible mark, and debate over who is better remains subjective. It's not subjective, bro. Okay, what would be the easiest, most objective way to determine who the greatest player in the world is? What statistic would you use? I would say tournament earnings. Right? Tournament earnings would be the easiest one. Put them in a room with a knife? Who has bigger hands? Well, then Maru certainly loses. World tournaments or, or world championships won? Maru has won zero world championships. Uh, let's see. Esports earnings. There you go. Serral's at nearly 1.5... Damn, dude. 1.5 million. It's not bad. Maru is at a measly 1.3. Pathetic, honestly. Imagine only earning $1.3 million from your tournament winnings, chat. God. 
Kind of cringe. We should let him play a game of dodgeball. <laughs> Let's do an arm wrestling best of five to determine who the goat is. Do we have to pull up the picture again of Serral flexing? Here's the picture of Serral with the most intimidating flex that I've ever seen. Look at that beast of a man. Biceps popping, dude. Hey, thank you very much, Iris Glitch. Innovation still so high on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did they do that to him? I don't know. That is one of the worst photos in esports ever. A face slapping competition? Yeah, innovation's still sitting here at 800,000. It's interesting. Why would Sarah agree to that? I think the way that these photo shoots usually go, right? Is like you start off and you start off with this. You're like, and then you have to do like the folded arms. And they're like, okay, Sarah, do something cool. And they're like, okay, what do I do? He's like, do like a flex or something. And then you have the director who's like, do something like this. And Sarah's like, <laughs> and you get that. You get that weird shot, and that's the one they pick out of, like, a series of a dozen photos. <laughs> arm wrestling? You think Hero would win an arm wrestling contest in the StarCraft community? Hero would probably reach under the desk with his other hand and, you know, yeah, that's how he would win. He would pull a dirty one on you. Protoss players, man. Never to be trusted. They'll throw cheese at you. Yeah, yeah. You get too close to a player, find out he plays Protoss. Suddenly, the brie and the camembert smell makes sense. You're like, ah, oh, okay. Neep is the, yeah, the only American up there. Ooh, that is a really nice shelf. Look at this nerd shelf over here. I need something like this, dude. Do I though? I have so many StarCraft things that I've just got shoved in my storage thing right over there. This is cool. Look at this. This guy has the original CDs. That is pretty cool, yeah. You need a big shelf for Warhammer? Well, the Warhammer figures are small. I was painting again, by the way, before the stream, Peter. It's been going decent. My little StarCraft shrine at the new apartment? Yo, let's go, dude. This guy has a bunch of signed copies. Neep TLO special? Astraea, Lambo, Bion, Trier, Spirit, Skillis, Zest, Hero Marine, Scarlet, Showtime, Elazer. Very nice. What's this? Welcome to the hive mind where the only things faster than our Zerklings are our rushes. This looks like a freaking chat GPT Twitch chat copy paste up, man. Ay, 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 chat. Not even creative anymore. We're just letting ChatGPT generate our copy-paste us now. I cannot believe it. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all doing all right. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you had a good weekend too, buddy. Yeah. Are you excited for the stream? You're excited for my headphone cable. Yeah, that's what you're excited for. Hope you guys are all doing all right. This is our younger cat. Yeah, this is my youngest. This is our youngest. His uh, his name is Toby. He is... How old is he? I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. He's a bit clumsy. He has a grandpa face. Absolutely. Speaking of grandpa face, got some new emojis that are currently in the works. First off, we have Slightly Drunk Gaming's Twitch chat emote. He suggested an emoji called Low Old, because apparently that is something we seem to discuss quite a bit. Here's the current sketch for Low Old. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. I really like it. It seems like uh, Slightly Drunk Gaming also agrees. And then Davido. Uh, this is Big Dodo, also turned in 1 million channel points recently, and he wanted to have a low sweat emote. This one is basically already done. I really like the way that low sweat looks as well. There's a little bit of overlap with low F. Yeah, yeah, low F is uh, maybe going to be a retired emoji. Yeah. Nobody uses low F, so I don't know when every, whenever anybody's gonna use this, but this looks so sick. 
Low F doesn't get a lot of play, but it's such a good emote, no? I think low F is very good. For some reason, it's not sweaty enough. I think that's the problem with low F. Yeah, I'm not gonna remove it yet, but it's kinda meh. Whoa, whoa, Ray Tracer, what the hell, man? Can't believe it. Low frantic? I literally have never used the word frantic in my life, Rumpus. This is on the top of the StarCraft 2 subreddit. Serral can't be the goat, he has no GSL. Meitzenbrain? Team Liquid.net writer? Dude, people are never gonna let go of this stupid ass Team Liquid goat list. It's actually so bad, dude. What is this? What is. What, what did you just link me, bro? Is this a sushi race? Tuna is in the lead, dude. Fatty Tuna. Followed by Atlantic Salmon. Hashtag Formula Sushi. This is a really, really dumb video. This is one of the dumbest videos I have ever seen in my life. Oh! Oh! Let's go, dude. DRS enabled, probably. I couldn't see the rear wing, but I'm fairly sure DRS was enabled there. Great video. Yeah, thank you very much. Widow Mine Complainer gameplay. This is Ugdog versus a random Korean guy. What's Ugdog? Oh. Oh. Look at these colossi. Oh. Yeah, he didn't make detection though. I don't really know what we're doing in this game. Like, what just happened in this game? Hold up. Why do we not have detection, but we do have... Yeah, I don't know. What's Ugdo, guys? I can't... I can't figure it out. TY's prophetic words about balance in 2017? The reason I'm angry at Zerk is because... Zerk right now, the game is playable, winnable. They can make price money. So they go around telling Protoss players, it sucks so bad for Terran, they really need to nerf Protoss. All the while, they're the ones benefiting from everything, playing both sides against each other. They're selling out Protoss while protecting themselves from nerfs. They know the focus is on Terran versus Protoss and that discourse is going in the direction of Z Terran versus Zerk doesn't matter. The situation's going to play out so that Zerks benefit by doing nothing. I'm just so worried about that. Wow. I think this proves once again that Zerg players are just smarter than Terrans and Protoss combined. Dude, there's something beautiful whenever you ask pro gamers about balance. I don't know if you guys watched the uh, Hero Marine balance update for the new PTR. He made a video about that. He, he made a video discussing the balance changes. Watching and listening to pro gamers discuss balance is sometimes a really good thing, but many of them are incredibly biased. I think the Hero Marine PTR video was a pretty good example of that. No, he was not biased at all. No, no, no. Man, 2017, huh? What a legend. Best GOAT list we've ever had by Rainer. Hey guys, after the recent ghost list arguments I saw online, I wanted to make a list of my own. This list only takes into account certain tournaments, hope. Uh, certain tournaments, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Nesty, MC, Euthermal, Kelazor, Raynor, Serol, Marine King Prime, Saxry, Maru. Honorable mentions, Dark, Harstam, <laughs> at Rotterdam. Why the fuck am I below Kelazor? Copa America runner-up for 14 years, deserves some praise, respect the grind mark. <laughs> oh, yikes, yikes. <laughs> Kelazor responds saying, bruh, the goat is here. This is a great chain. I'm gonna retweet it. Yeah, this is a very good threat. I think this is a great example of a real goat list. Who is this Meisenhower guy anyways? It's kind of amazing, right? Like, this guy comes out of nowhere. No one's ever heard of Meisenhower before, as far as I know. This guy makes the most lengthy f***ing list on Team Liquid about who the StarCraft 2 goat is. And everybody's upset. <laughs> To be fair though, if we want to put on our tinfoil hats and we want to, you know, talk about conspiracies for a little bit, I'm fairly sure Team Liquid as a platform, teamliquid.net that is, I'm fairly sure that that website has not seen nearly as much activity as it's got right now in like five years time. Nobody goes to that website anymore. So how about they did it on purpose? How about 
Put on our tinfoil hats. They, they, they did it on purpose just to drive traffic. Because anger drives engagement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's a great list. Meisenhower has most of this subreddit stun locked. I love how his name is Meisenhower as well. <laughs> Such a good name. Yeah, very good. Several fans triggered. I haven't seen the list. This sub became saltier than the Terran sub. Meisenhower quite literally has written articles claiming that Rogue was a patch circ and that Maru was washed up and would never win again. <laughs> yeah, Rogue is definitely a patch zerk. Let's see the most downvoted comment. Those are always good. Several fans are so salty because their favorite player didn't top the list. I thought the StarCraft 2 fanbase consisted mostly of older people. Where do all the 14-year-old fanboys come from? Or did they just not develop any further? Yeah, I have not developed anything since the year... When was this? Like 2006 or something. Whenever I was 14. Yeah. Maybe we can ask Bing. Yeah, I did this a few days ago, but maybe I should give him a, a top 10 list. Bing doesn't want to do it, man. Hello? What do you mean, does- okay. More creative, yeah, yeah. Give me the top 10 goats of StarCraft 2. Here we go, here we go. We got this. We will settle this debate once and for all. It often sparks lively debates. Oh, yikes. Guys? Guys? AI put Cero in first place. That's a yikes, dude. Wait, he put Dark in the top 10? What the f***? Dark's not supposed to be in the top 10. Oh, he put life in the list. Despite controversies, remembered for his high skill level and impact on the game. Dude, this guy put MVP on the list as well. Amazing. Serral, Maru, Hero, Innovation, Rogue, Dark, Zest, Stats, Live, and MVP. You know what? I agree with this list way more than that Meisenhower list. Yeah, I'm kind of missing Raynor. I think Raynor should be within the top 10 because that guy is insane. But it's hard really to, uh, yeah, it's hard to really make a list for every time period. I don't think Rain, no, I don't think Rain should be in the top 10 if I'm being honest with you. Rain is really good, obviously. Bit of a legend. The thing is, man, the whole Meisenhower list is very GSL heavy. Meisenhower hurt Mr. Artosis in 2010 all the way through like 2018. Repeatedly, every single broadcast, he heard Artosis say that the GSL was the highest skill level in StarCraft 2. And he has soaked that up like a sponge. He still believes it. So, yeah, uh, you end up with a list that's a little bit crooked. Uh, you're pretty sure Artosis thinks Roke is better than Serral? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Raider's going to the GSL next season? Yeah, yeah, I saw that he's going to the GSL again next season. Risky, risky, risky decision. I like what he does, though. You know, I, I can appreciate that. The fact that, that Raynor is like, you know what, f*** these guys. I'm just gonna go into the GSL again. Because last time his performance was absolutely atrocious. It was not very good. I think you would agree with that. Raynor just loves Korea. Fair enough. Yeah, you wouldn't do it for the money. That's for sure. Loco, have you seen this? That's a very non-descriptive video link, dude. Can you hear me? Before you know it, there's gonna be a video of a tattoo on a man's belly button. It's Shy Lily? Oh, thank God. It's only Shy Lily? I haven't seen you guys talk about Shy Lily in ages. Every type of Womp Womp? Do we really want to watch this? A happy one was like, Womp Womp! Okay, got it, got it. Uh, a sad one was like, Womp! Very good, very good. One was like, womp, 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 womp. We had the what, what else was there? A seductive one was like, <sighs> and it's not very seductive. Womp. I'm, I'm not, not oh, no, we're not doing the seductive womp, womp, guys. We're not doing the <laughs> womp. No, 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 no. I will have you know that she gets way more viewers than I do, guys. Yeah, you guys have no idea. Is she live right now? She was live 20 hours ago. Okay. 1.3 million followers on Twitch? How many do I have? I have no idea. You should follow though, so my ego gets bigger. You should definitely... I have 170k? That's pathetic. That's a rounding error for Shy Lily. She gets more viewers because of the seductive womp. You're probably right.
How many people watch her stream? 76,000 views. Oh my. Ooh. I don't think it's just the seductive womp womp, dude. I don't think it is just the seductive womp womps. No. Maybe I should get like a low cut blouse as well. That's maybe what I should do. Yeah, just in case. Who watches VTubers? Many people do, man. Very, very popular. Maybe I should do a, a hot tub stream, like a, a spawning pool stream, you know? When we uh, reach the sub goal today, I'm gonna switch into a lacy bikini and then uh, we're gonna do a, a hot tub stream. That seems to be a po but that's not really a VTuber thing though. No, that's an entirely different genre of streaming. Although I'm sure there's overlap between the two as well. Why do people like watching VTubers? Why do people like watching anything, dude? You're also watching somebody play video games right now. To clarify, it was a joke, Jose? Jose, hold up. Whoa. Wait, what happened? My thingy, it... Dude, there's a problem with my... Oh, there we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. For some reason, my OBS seems to be lagging. Yeah. Um... Because I actually did not see Twitch chat update there for like 10 seconds. I don't know why. Hi there. Is Loco going to the dark side? Uh, I would definitely be a Sith. 100%. But I don't think that has anything to do with it. Hey, thank you very much, Kaizen. And thank you, Jose, for the support. No, I have already downloaded all the homework files that you sent me, uh, Mugetsu. Gabe sent me another 500 gigabytes worth of homework files. He's clever, though, because he doesn't title them homework files. He gives them names. Like, it looks like he's transferring video files. Yeah. Smart, right? So this is the Dyson Sphere playthrough. Sure, 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 Gabe. I'll transfer those later. I was just looking at a, at a link that Gabe sent me. Um, apparently, this is the latest Twitch meta. So, as you probably know, I don't really follow the Twitch meta very much, right? This, this is the latest thing on Twitch. The green pants meta, where you green screen out and play Fortnite on... I don't... It's creative, I guess. But like, why though? <laughs> How am I gonna compete with that, guys? Yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, play video games instead. The VTubers also took that meta. Oh god, the VTubers are doing the green... I, I don't even know if I can show you guys this. There's a link in the chat in case you want to go ahead and have a look. Jeez Louise, okay. Yeah, I don't think I can show you guys that. Is Twitch slowly becoming OnlyFans? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Why would you even suggest such a thing? No, no, no. Twitch has become a way to promote your OnlyFans. It's something else entirely. Did Loco quit SC2.com? <laughs> oh, wait. This is a new website? Did Loco quit StarCraft.com? Hold up right now. Fake news. Fake news. You registered a domain name for me, Fear Dragon? I hope this is costing you at least 50 bucks a year, dude. At least. <laughs> Did Loco quit StarCraft? Dot, dot com. There it is. Wait, what was the other one? What was it? Did Loco quit SC2.com, right? Ah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Did Loco quit SC2.com? You didn't actually put the uh, the Fafa uh, the, the the Fafi icon over there or the Fafa icon, whatever you call it. You didn't put the low palm in there, man. <laughs> you did make it a secure website. That is very nice. Yeah, please fix that. Thank you. You do seem to be uh, inspired by the art that is used in this this other platform, but it's okay. You know, for this one, I don't remember how to exactly do this, but I know the creator of the website specifically made an email address where I can give it like a certain subject title, at which point it will switch from no to yes. So there's actually some programming behind it. Like, and I can, I can reach out to this email address with a certain subject line, at which point the website will flip the yes. I've never given this a try. I also forgot how to do it, but that was the TLDR of how, yeah, roughly it went down. I don't remember the exact details, but they actually put in some effort. I don't even remember who made this website. 
Does anybody recall who made Ditloka quit SC2.com? Nobody remembers. That's a problem. Day 9's take on the GOAT debate? Oh, come on. Ah, uh, okay, fine. This is just something that keeps going on now, okay? We're gonna have this discussion about who the StarCraft 2 GOAT is for the next couple of weeks. Did you see your link from Artosis? I saw a video of Artosis who claimed that Rogue is the Already GOAT. Already ten half years a sub. What, what are you... What, five year resub right there from Fernando. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fernando. Appreciate it, man. I'm a reaction streamer. I'm a very bad reaction streamer because this is a clip from only a minute long. If you've never been here before, I make a killer goat noise. <laughs> Some of you wish you could make a goat noise like that. Whoa, whoa, hold up right now. Do that again. <laughs> what? I'm trying to find out if that is a soundboard. <laughs> Some of you wish you could make a goat noise like that. <laughs> and I can do, I like, if someone has uh, an expression they would like to make as a goat, I can do that too. Like a surprised goat. <laughs> Angry goat. <laughs> I can, like, do it all. It's incredible. Embarrassed goat. <laughs> See, I can just do it. Wow. Happy goat. <laughs> I can just do it. Can I do a horny goat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little very nice, yeah. Very exciting. So that is Day 9's take on the GOAT debate. Very good. Day 9 might be the GOAT, honestly. Yeah. A Minecraft reference in a Minecraft post? You must cr craft additional furnaces. You must craft additional furnaces. You must craft additional furnaces. You know what? I thought this was a non-reference right over here, but this is actually kind of a big reference, yeah. You must construct additional pylons over and over and over again. How do you guys do, by the way, fellow Minecraft enjoyers? You guys want to load up some fork knife later? Hold up right you now. You must construct additional pylons. 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 Thank you, Bunny. You must construct yeah. additional pylons. Yeah, yeah, th thank you. Thank you very much, Bunny Warren. I appreciate it. So this is a Facebook post, a screenshot of a Facebook post that was posted to the StarCraft 2 subreddit within a minute after it went up. That's... That's very specific, man. I don't think I've ever called any Facebook post historically ever that was posted within a minute. No. A shout out to my fellow Protoss player, or favorite Protoss players. Many people play video games in easy mode, and that's okay because games are supposed to be fun, relaxing, and not stressful. Whoa, whoa. Serol can't be the GOAT because he never won a Cheezadelphia. True! Milo was chilling in this room on my desk the entire morning. I don't want to blame my cats, but... Time for a new mouse? <laughs> no, I don't need a new mouse. It's not that extreme, guys. I'm being a little overly dramatic. But there's a little bit of... You see that little chip of paint right there? That's where my thumb rests, man. I keep feeling it. I know, I know. Basically unusable now. I know, it's basically unusable, but I, I will I will power through it. I think I can manage. Ruined, time to throw it in the trash. Oh god, no! Upper tree, no! Upper tree, don't convince me to buy a new mouse. Upper tree probably has one of those mice where like, you know, it's basically just this is the new pro gamer mouse, man. They basically have a mouse like this, except there's just holes in it everywhere. Like, for some reason, if it's three grams lighter, it, it is ten times as good or so. I don't really know what's going on there. One wise chatter once said, common sense is like deodorant. What? The people who need it most never use it. Brian? Why did Brian just... Ah. Alright, that was a weird way to do that. Brian just started talking before the notification came in. Uh, I see how it is. Hey, thank you very much, Figaro, for the two years. You have the signature edition? What what is the signature edition? Up a tree. The signature edition of what? Yeah, dude, this this is what all the pro gamers play with now. This is what I'm trying to say. I don't have a better way of explaining it. This is what the pro gamers have now. They're, they they just have mice with holes in it. That's you can't convince me that's better. Yeah, it's slightly lighter. Bro, back when I was a kid, we used to put AA batteries in our wireless mice and we liked it. Wait, 
Is that a is that a wired mouse with holes in it? I hate everything about this. These are wired mice with holes in them. Ah. Yeah, no, I can't do that, man. I remember having a, a ball in my mouse. Yeah, it was pretty hype. I remember cleaning those with Q-tips. <laughs> Dude, that's how old I am. I remember unscrewing the bottom of it and then f***ing, like removing the ball and then f***ing putting a Q-tip on those three little... Was it two or three? I don't remember. Yeah, you clean your balls for accuracy. Exactly. I still do that with a Q-tip. This is the mice you have. Uh, this is the mouse you, you use right now, Apatry. Superior weight reduction. Maybe I'm wrong, right? But I kind of feel like mouse manufacturers are creating problems over things that aren't problems. There is no way in my mind that this is an improvement because of the holes that it's got. Like, yes, all of that material technically makes it lighter, but like, how... Is, is it really better? Like, do you want to move air? Like, what is the best thing you can do? Less material means that it's cheaper to make? Well, that is for sure. It lets your hand breathe and it doesn't get sweaty? I don't know, man. I'm not convinced. I did get to try uh, Clem's mouse recently. And I don't really know exactly what mouse he has. I think it may actually be this one. I'm not exactly sure. He did bring up an important thing. So apparently Clem, he clicks his buttons uh, right over here. Like he, he has like, you know, he has like, he, he like claw grips it and he presses his buttons in this location. So like very far up. Like, I, I tend to press right over here, but basically the mouse he used had, like, a similar amount of uh, activation force required right over here than it would over there. So for me, this is much heavier than right over there. But for me, it's not really a problem, because... There's a hair on my mouse? What? No, bro. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is. No, that's just a molt line. Oh, my God. That is not a hair. There's two molt lines on both sides. Gotta get my scraping tool out. Gotta spray paint this thing. Or spray... <laughs> there were two hairs? There's no way. Hello? Stop looking at my face, camera. No, that's... There's another one over on that side. I didn't even look at the price. Wait, what? Am I supposed to look at this Razer mouse price? I didn't get to that point. How much? Don't tell me. Don't tell me this is more than a hundred and... I'm gonna say a hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Don't tell me this is more than a hundred and twenty-nine dollars. I feel like any... Like, th that's already extreme. Where, where do we... I don't even see the price. I can only click notify me. What about the Dutch website? Maybe they sell it on the Dutch website. It's $300? Nice. Oh, it worked. Okay, I just had to click it 17 times. I like how the Dutch website is still in English. I like how it... For a limited time, we will do free shipping. Oh, you wanted me to pay for shipping too? Yeah, for some reason, this is, this is tricky. $300? For a mouse? I don't think that's a good deal. No. There's magnesium, they make them out of magnesium. Fair enough. I guess magnesium is not easy to work with, but... Uh, I do have uh, magnesium supplements. Those are not that expensive. Sounds like you don't want to go pro. That's my problem, Rumpus. If only I had the same mouse and keyboard as Serral. If I had the same chair as Serral, I would have been a pro gamer a long time ago. Yeah, can somebody figure out what gamer chair Serral has? Maybe his gaming motherboard. Can somebody figure that out? I need to have the exact setup that Serral has. Then I will finally be a professional gamer. What is this? <laughs> Did you just link a video from Serral from 2020? What, <laughs> what is this? I often use Sally while I'm working on a PC. <laughs> what? No! This... This... Is this what I need to be a professional gamer? Or is Serral just shooting an ad? Or both? I c This, this is, uh... I don't, this is, this is, this is not... I don't know how I feel about this. This also kind of looks like he's playing on a wireless PC. Which, uh, no, 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 no. 
There's a gap in the chair for ventilation. Oh yeah, of course. Naturally. Is he playing on a, a wire? No, no, no. Sorry, what did I say? I meant Wi-Fi. No, no, no. He's not playing on a wireless PC. Although absolute giga chat, he is apparently using his PC case right here as a cup holder. You have to have solid micro in order to put your PC, or to use your PC router as a table. I don't recommend it, because I would definitely spill coffee all over my computer, which is uh, difficult to get rid of. Yeah, I don't really know exactly what you would do at that point. It keeps your drink warm. <laughs> Hold on, Jimmy. I'm here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Here she comes! Much like Mario and Luigi, Carrigan and Jimmy are finally alone. <gasps> Wait, is that a bug or a feature? Many guys in the chat will be, yes! More tentacles? Tell that to Phoenix. <laughs> Tell it to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. This is very romantic. Whoever believed in me. Dude, that is one hell of a gun. If he fires that over here, his ears are dead. I don't know much about guns, but a tiny little cell and a gun that big. Don't do it! You gotta destroy your- Okay. Okay. Jimmy just hears- That's- that's all he hears right now. Permanent tinnitus. Never forget it. We're done. Damn, dude. They are no longer Facebook official. Yeah. He's cold, not even a hug. Why does he have a gun in the prison? Why, yeah, why was he in the cell? I mean, there are so many plot holes in this storyline that I hadn't even considered that one. He also had his cigarettes and everything still with him. I don't really know how that works. If you look carefully, and you will have to look very carefully right now, but if you look carefully in the distance, there's a gigantic battle cruiser hanging in the background. Yeah. I'm just pointing it out because I feel like many of you would have missed it. You're welcome, Chad. <laughs> you don't see it anywhere? Alright, alright, well. Looks like my push over here. Or that push over here has been What? Did it just drop a bunch of medics out of a freaking overlord and now the medics are healing the overlord that they got dropped out of? Strange sequence of events, man. Very weird. I don't even know if that's legal. Lorance texted me. Oh no. Oh no, what she did? Oh, she just sent me ha ha ha. Alright, we're good, we're good. Oh yeah, I made a picture of, uh, of Milo earlier today. He was looking very focused. I don't know if you can see. He was looking very focused inside of his tunnel. I don't know why. That's all I sent, it wasn't that exciting. I thought some of you already forwarded the clip. Nah, it's okay. It was a polite haha. -ha. Yeah, she has to deal with my for a long time now, guys. It's been like, uh, what, like... How long has it been? Coming up on like nine years. Jeez, it's been a long time, actually. Time for something new. Wait, no, no, no. Don't clip that. Don't, no. Ha ha. No, she's at work. No, she's at work, dude. Somebody has to work around here, guys. <laughs> Clip it, send it to her. <laughs> yeah, she has a job. Yeah, yeah, of course. So basically, my job is to trick people into spending money on the internet. That's, that's my job. Yeah. But I have to do it in such a way that those people don't notice it. Uh, she's a graphic designer. She, uh, she does graphic design with mostly a lot of web design. But she does everything from web design to like 
news articles and logos and the whole thing. Yeah. She made the sub badges. She did. Yeah, you see those badges in front of your beautiful nicknames? She did make those subscriber badges, for example. Yeah. I think you can do, what is it, exclamation point badges? Does that give you the full overview? I actually don't know. I don't think it's the full overview. No. There's a few more that um, she made since then, because for some reason, so these were the original sub badges. But for some reason, there's now a few people that are subscribed for longer than eight years. Yeah. Crazy, right? Imagine that. Imagine being subbed to my channel for more than eight years. No, she did make those. And she made a few more. Let me see. Yeah. Here's nine to 11 years. So I don't think anybody has the middle and the right one yet. But these also get very sparkly. I think these are going to look really sick in the chat, actually. You very rarely see anybody with a circular one. But do I have it? No, I have the founder icon. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, so the first, I think, 20 or so people that ever subscribed to the stream got this founder badge. And uh, this, so this is 9, 10, and 11 year subs. Which is crazy. But like, look at the amount of people in the chat right now that already have over like a 50 plus months. Uh, I mean, some people, some people may unsubscribe and that's obviously fine, but I can imagine maybe in a few years from now, assuming we can still do what I do right now, um, there's gonna be quite a few people that have uh, really shiny badges. Yo, Mr. Neeper. Nuts. Whoa, bro, what? What did you just call us? Thank you very much. 75 months. I'm very offended right now. I can't believe you called me a nerd. Personally, I think everybody with plus or 29 plus months is a nerd. Anyone with 27 or less is a casual. Ah, right. It's just like the watch, uh, the watch meme, Ramble. That's how you feel about your subscriber badge. Anybody with more months than you is an absolute tryhard. Anybody with less than you is a casual. I like that. That's a good way to view it. Yeah. I'm your longest running sub. Yo, nice. What's up, Yuchitoru? Yeah, yeah, this this classic watch meme. Show off rich douchebag who overpaid. LOL pores. My exact watch only. This this is basically how you view people that have longer and shorter substreaks as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your exact substreak only is the perfect one. <laughs> Same for people who lose and win against me in StarCraft. Either they're tryhards or they're absolute noobs. Very nice. Yeah. You gotta rationalize it one way or another. Let me all army hotkey everything into one lurker. There we go. Don't even know how that lurker got there. We're almost ready to attack the Dominion. With what? Soon. Two Marines and a battle cruiser? He's a truly special case. He made one tank and a banshee, and he thinks he's ready to take on the freaking Dominion. Yeah, this guy's going for a three marine timing attack. All right, Jimmy, I'll wait for you, buddy. You know, there's always that one guy whose cousin works in hiring. That's Jimmy. Like, I don't know how Jimmy got the job. Thank you, Jimmy Gif. Jif? Gif? What? Thank you, Jimmy? Who's this? That guy looks very American. That's like, if I think of a... Yeah, yeah, that's that's stereotypically American, right? I think so. He's a legend? Oh. Is he American? I don't know the meme, no. <laughs> Loka here? Okay, what is this? Thank you, Jimmy? Yeah, we can go after I finish this, I don't care. I just gotta finish this up, though. Jimmy, thank you, baby! Oh my god, you are so beautiful. Aw, thanks. See, somebody appreciates me. What the hell, Jimmy? She is one lucky girl. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. That is a classic, yeah. That's very good. He was American. He was American. Again! Why don't you just jump further? I'll give that a try. My voice went really high. Well, I had to do a half twist. What do you think I took my hands off the keyboard? 
But I got there eventually. That may have been that may have been an old time high note that I ever did on stream. I should just grab the other cliff. Oh. <sighs> okay. 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 Should have go to the higher points as those seventeen suggested, Kappa. Yeah. 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 I should. I should. Yeah. I don't know if you can get as many nil scratch problems from that higher point. See? Higher point, dude. I'm telling you guys. Higher point, at the very least, we get no nil scratching. Have I considered building a bridge? <laughs> Guy in the chat was right. <gasps> he was almost at the bottom. How does it feel to always be a right guy in the chat? Feels good. Woo. Just to give you a little bit of a moment, okay? Okay. Does it save progress if you exit mid-run? I have no idea. I've always failed. And I've always been back at the beginning. Okay. You have to be very accurate on the waterfall. Here's the rubbery log. Don't be scared, chat. Okay, we gotta grab the edge over here. But like, you know, there you go. Yeah? No! I was almost past the point that I've never been before. At least I think so, I don't remember what was there. <laughs> oh, okay, alright. Jeez. This game makes me hit octaves in my voice that I normally never get to. <laughs> How does the water flow this way? That's the question you have? How does the water flow this way? Are you trying to suggest that this video game is unrealistic when it comes to physics? I hate it, dude. Why aren't my games just always physics accurate? You know what? I'm actually just gonna try something here. Say, for example... What if I... What if... There's no quit button. If I rage quit from here, does it put me back at the very beginning of the game? Oh, gamers. Takes a second before OBS picks it up. But here we are. Nice. You were lied to? The, the, the game's developer is very, very generous. Yeah, this is basically a checkpoint. I mean, the only problem is that the checkpoint is literally like 15 seconds into the speedrun. Can we, can we look at the speedrun for this game for just a moment? A difficult game about climbing speedrun. What is the world record for this game right now? 5 minutes and 19 seconds. By Clark Australia. What? How is this a different one? First split. Why is this 7 minutes and 6 seconds? How do I find the video for this? I'm too dumb for this. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the... Let's see how far I made it into the speed run. That was so quick. Holy <laughs> did he do that quick. What? Look at this. Look at that jump. Whoa. Okay, so I made it to about 25 seconds or so into the speed run. That's pretty good. He's taking a different route, dude. Oh, sh it's going all the way up there.
What? This guy did the sickest flip ever. How did he go all the way sideways? So there's there's an indicator over here in the bottom right how he does it. So he's holding both left and right mouse button right now. Big swing towards the top right while hitting space bar once. But if I do that, I don't cover very much terrain at all. Hey, I tried selecting one of them and microing it back. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's not really easy. Oh no. Damn it! I just finished my Timberborn playthrough, man. With the dam broken, the water level is dropping. If the water drops enough, they'll be able to cross. We don't really have dams in the Netherlands, guys. We need to build up more forces the country's too flat. The Let's build. <laughs> Country, like, you kind of need... You kind of need at least, like, a little bit of a mountain. Cannibalism is the best religion. By a mile, dude. Like, all my playthroughs here in this game so far have not been very successful until we became cannibals. I can highly recommend cannibalism to everybody who wants to succeed in RimWorld. Yeah, cannibalism is just very underrated, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, every time I get attacked, I get to not only recycle the body parts and sell them for profit, but I also get to eat. It's incredibly nice. No, in real life, it's definitely frowned upon, dude. I don't recommend it in real life. People in general do not seem to like it very much. I have not... No, no, I have not tried cannibalism. Good question, though, chat. Scouting by rank. This is a high-effort meme. Somebody even drew. Ha! I knew you were on the other side of the map. Gotcha. Silver League scouting. Gold League scouting. Found you. Now to use all 45 of my APM to harass your SCV. I honestly don't know why I'm not Grandmaster. Floating 1600 minerals, no workers made for 30 seconds, forgot gas, forgot expansion, probes relate right next to the minerals instead of on the minerals, never scouted enemies gas. Wait, this last one is a little out of place. This last one is a little bit of a, uh, this is a Platinum League moment right here. I think the, the maker of this meme is... Anyways. Uh, Platinum League, it's Cybercore before Nexus, what do I do? I cancel building CC, build four bunkers, cut worker production, cancel 99% done factory to build eBay. Restart the factory. Opponent does not have a real build order, just expands right after the SCV leaves. Diamond League, I see your starport, I won't lose to that. Now I'll just not scout again until your two base all in is destroying my third. I'll be masters in no time. And then masters. Ha! Huh. I knew exactly what you're doing, but I'm not going to respond to it properly because I saw Bjorn hold off Roach Ravager with one Hellion and three Marines. Very nice. Why? What? 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 What is that on the? Why? Why does he have a red dot? Uh, red dot on the desk. What's going on there? Also, these are left-handed gamers. Ha! Huh? Left-handed gamers. Who uses their? These people are using their mouse with the left hand. No wonder they can't climb out of gold. I think that's that's the reason why. You forgot my scout. I look at your base and completely ignore what I see. Very nice. Serral being number two in Team Liquid makes national news in Finland. <laughs> oh no, what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Serral shouldn't be number two, man. Ok, yo nasatala. That's, yeah, no. Show translate option, translate to English. Came second on the list of respected sites. The internet was shocked. Bro, we got, we got a Finnish clickbait article. Many felt that the wrong name was raised over Satala. All right, Michael Meisenhauer of Team Liquid, number one site, has listed what he thinks are 10 of the greatest StarCraft players of all time. Eisenhower's in-depth article. Bro, I like how this Eisenhower guy came out of nowhere. I never heard anybody ever talk about Eisenhower. This guy, this guy sound... <laughs> this guy could be a scientist for all... I have no idea what he does. This is just a dude with like four Twitter followers. Yeah, he has a bunch of random posts on, on Team Liquid. And he like made this very long post and somehow... Maybe it's me, dude. The top spot was taken by the Korean Maru. 
by a minimal margin ahead of the Finnish star. <laughs> the Koreans, in bold, number one position is justified by more than 10 years of long-term success and seven GSL CODES championships. I like how they took this photo of... <laughs> That's so funny, man. Like, they're not straight up, you know, being mean to Maru and disagreeing, but they are definitely... If you read between the lines, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> My god. They got some articles over here, too. That's so funny. This is great. The publication in question is a tabloid? Ah! All right. Yeah, no, I figured, man. Like, it was definitely a little, uh... Kind of like the Daily Mail in the UK. I don't know what the Daily Mail is. The New York Post in the US? Okay. I'm not sure. Imagine having a list so bad it makes tabloid news. Yeah. Do you think tabloids will publish Loco's vegetable tier list? Well, my vegetable tier list was perfect. So I don't really see the problem. Playing 1v1s from the car I live in? Ah, yeah, I saw this one, bro. Look... <laughs> This is such a sad photo. This is a weird photo too. So this guy, this is probably your average 2v2 slash 3v3 teammate, okay? When you when you solo queue in StarCraft 2, this is probably the guy you queue up with. So this guy is living out of a Tesla. This is a Tesla, a Model 3, playing with a Bluetooth keyboard. He's watching on the screen of the car a podcast. God, that is a very large American flag. And then we have, I don't know, I don't think it's a MacBook. It's not a MacBook. It's a, it's a Windows laptop. It's a very American photo. Yeah, it's, but it's kind of sad, man. Why is this man living in a car? You thought it was a pizza? No, I don't think it's a pizza, man. It does look like a Dell. Yeah. I think he says in the post, so I was, I was reading about this. Quite a nice San Francisco place you got there. Do you mind sharing your real estate agent's number? Oh, no. Imagine losing to a guy playing like this. Yeah, I think he said he was going through a divorce. So it's kind of sad, really. Peak USA. This guy probably could support two families in Europe, but prefers to spend his money to go to the dentist once in a lifetime. <clears throat> this is not a very good American threat right over here, okay? This, this, is a, this is a very harsh Reddit threat. Car payment is $500. Apartment is $1,700 minimum. It does seem weird to me. And I don't really want to get into the argument here. To own a luxury car, but not a place to live. That seems... You know, that seems a bit funky. But hey, if he wants to live life like that, and it's his choice, whatever. Bro, why Why does... Where do you even get a flag like that? What? <laughs> this man, look, look at the size of that flag. That's a big flag. Those are common flags, Loco. You just get it at Walmart? Like anywhere? Is it common to hang a flag up on a wall? Because I feel like I've seen this many times, especially in podcasts. Do lots of people just have a wall with a giant American flag on it? Yeah? Interesting. I've never seen that over here. It's Republicans mainly? It was very common to see a lot of Dutch flags a couple years ago while there uh, were a lot of drama, especially with farmers. Basically what they would do, probably the most disrespectful thing you can do to any country's flag, right? Is fly it upside down. So you would, like, drive past these fields, and there would just be flag after flag after flag of Dutch flag upside down. So usually it goes red, white, blue, but it went blue, white, red. And there's still a bunch of places here that have them up. So there's loads and loads and loads of, uh... There were loads and loads and loads of flags that were upside down in the Netherlands. Yeah. This was, uh, due to emissions and all that, and, uh... They basically got their ways in the end. But anyways, it worked! Yeah, apparently it worked. How's the Nexit buzz? No, there's no Nexit, man. The farmer party went hard, yeah. Would it be more disrespectful to turn it 90 degrees to look like a French flag? Yes. Although, people would just be confused. <laughs> that would just make it weird. <laughs> it's sweet and you couldn't notice, I guess, if you had it upside down. That's a good point. So wait, if you guys watch, like, if you see this, for Americans in the chat, you immediately assume political affiliation? Just because of a flag that's hung up on a wall? Like, immediately? Huh. Interesting. Okay. You're like, oh god, I know exactly what's going on here. Alright, I see. You don't, Loco? No. Honestly, I don't really follow American politics very much, though, so... I'm not sure. Although, I would assume if I see somebody flying a Dutch flag upside down, I can assume their political, you know, affiliation, right? It is, uh, yeah. 
pretty clear at that point. Oh my god. HyperX meetup with Team AEG at PAX East? Dude, I love this so much. I love that the guys from HyperX were like, yo, everybody hold a stick of RAM and we'll take a photograph. <laughs> yeah, this is Demu with hair. So they're all like standing there with their RAM stick. <laughs> Very funny. They all have a different one too, which is kind of hilarious. They all have a different kind of RAM. Yeah. The truth nobody wants to accept. I, like you, am someone who enjoys playing, watching, and consuming all the content related to this beautiful game we all enjoy. Bro, you're immediately wrong. Nobody actually plays the game anymore, okay? Everybody just watches. But anyways, personally, it goes as far back as watching Clazart cast Brute War VODs on YouTube, and it all took off from there. We played slash watched through every nonsensical and imbalanced era from Brute Lord Infester to Swarm Host and early Heart of the Swarm to Mass Ravens. I mean, the list could go on. Space period, period. Everyone needs to realize how absolutely insane it is that a balanced quote unquote council consisting of pro players whose very livelihoods depends on them winning prize money gets to dictate the balance of the game, space period. That is a massive conflict of interest, a situation in which a person in position to derive personal benefit from actions or decisions made in their official capacity, space period. Sure, we would all like to believe that this quote-unquote council has the longevity, space comma, balance and popularity of the game in mind when it comes up, or when coming up with these balance changes, but it has been pretty obvious that they don't. The whole system of letting pro players dictate the balance of the game is absolutely bonkers, and really needs to be revised. Yeah, I, I don't I, I don't necessarily disagree. It's just um, who's gonna do it? <laughs> who's gonna do it? Because <laughs> Blizzard is not gonna do it. What are the alternatives? Do you want one guy to be in charge? I don't know, man. A coalition of random amateurs? No, 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 no. We should put Meisenhower in charge. <laughs> Somebody get Meisenhower for this shit, man. Meisenhower has got a good understanding. He understands how important the GSO code S is. No, we're, I still have to start with generals. Sorry, I'll start with generals in a moment. I'll do it. I'll balance StarCraft 2. Half the Reddit community would immediately do it. Bro, half the Reddit community is clueless. I still feel thankful. I actually think the Balance Council is doing a pretty good job overall, to be honest. A good solution would, might be to give this role to pro casters and not the pro players. I am definitely not balancing the game, mate. You think I want to become David Kim 2.0? You think I want to have the blame? No, 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 no. I'm sure there are enough casters that would like that. I think I could do a decent job, but I, I just don't want to have that. Sounds like a job for AI. Yeah, maybe we should. Let Artosis do the balance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put Winter in charge. I have seen Winter put his balance notes up on the internet in the past. Even Pig, who's on the balance council, admits he had to step away for a while because he doesn't have enough time for it recently on his stream. So to answer your question, some of them already are. A caster council with pro player advisory committee. Bro, it's all so insane though, right? Which caster would actually be qualified? I could only think of maybe Rotterdam. The thing is, man, everybody, everybody is slightly biased. I'm sure that if Rotterdam were to be in charge of balance, he would try really hard to not be biased. Because, you know, he's a great commentator, he understands the game really well. But he would always be slightly biased towards Protoss. At that point, you will have people that are like, okay, so, the caster council, right? There's four Terrans. There's six Protoss players and there's two Zergs. No wonder we get all these Protoss buffs. Like, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of overcorrecting for sure if Reddit would be in charge. I don't know, man. I, it's not a bad idea to put on more casters. The thing is, it's kind of a job. I actually think the Balance Council is doing a good job. I think a lot of Protoss players could do more to be competing at the highest level. I genuinely don't think Protoss has been, you know effectively used like Terran and Zerg have been at the absolute highest level. I really think it would be a massive change if Max Packs would play offline tournaments. I really think if uh, Zest, for example, came back, because I think he, he about wrapped up his military service by now. If Zest came, like there's so many little things that could make a massive difference.
Yeah, like the strongest protos in the world right now is not playing offline events. Like I genuinely think if you can figure out a way to f get max packs to play offline tournaments, I don't know what it takes, but like, <laughs> you know, it's not possible. No, it is not possible, Barabas. You cannot have a balanced meta where everybody is happy. It's a thankless job by default. Just a person or a group completely outside of StarCraft 2 that don't know anything about it. They analyze last year's tournaments and feedback and do the changes. You think somebody who doesn't understand the game, a council of people that don't know the game should do balance? That's... no. <laughs> no, bro. Stetsa style seems to do quite well. I actually think Protoss vs. Zerk is totally fine. I think Protoss vs. Zerk may actually be slightly Protoss favorite right now. I wouldn't be surprised. But Protoss vs. Terran is definitely a little trickier. I think Protoss vs. Zerk is totally fine. Yeah. The only thing is that you have to kind of defend... Like, it's hard to say, honestly, but, you know, anything about Protoss versus Zerg. I think if you were to do a best of three between the highest ranked Zerg and the highest ranked Protoss, right? Say a best of three, Serral up against Max Pax or Serral up against Hero, whatever you consider to be the number one, right? Best of three, I think those Protoss players have about a, maybe a 30% chance to win, right? I think maybe, yeah, something like that. A best of seven, however, I think they may have like a 3% chance to win. I don't see anybody really taking down Sero in a best of seven. The problem that Protoss runs into is that you kind of need to trick your opponent a little bit. Like you kind of need to catch them off guard a bit. And it's very tricky to become... Like you, you, need, you need to figure out a way to reliably do that. And you could do it once and maybe twice in a best of three. But in a best of, ser uh, best of seven, it's going to be very different. <sighs> Anyways, it is all... I actually don't think... I actually don't think it's all that significant, really. I think very minor changes will go a very long way. Did you just run out for a civilian? That's okay. Um... Those were my hackers. <laughs> I Where is the battle? Emphasis on the word were. Yes. Uplink cables ready. Okay, I suggest you guys do a little bit of that researching right about right over here. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother with Black Lotus. That was the Scut Storm? Oh, that's the Scut Storm. Ah. I see. No, no, no. We we put all of our eggs in one basket, guys. That's how we do things in real life. That's how we do things in the video game, too. You guys believe in splitting the risks? I think they need vision in order to cast it. So these guys are kind of like Zagara in the Heart of the Swarm campaign. They, they like vision. Hackers are insanely good. It's just that they are pretty expensive, but they, they make their money back over time. These missions seem to be quite, you know... Oh, get out of the... Oh, God! This is the Overlord. This is the Overlord tank. I wonder if this kills it. Oh, I don't even need that. Apparently, these guys can reach the high ground. Ah, a couple civilians. Okay, hey guys, finish that one off? No? Okay. There's a sniper in the area? I just blast the entire area to bits. Have you considered that? At least I didn't lose my structures this time around. Good point. I'll suck the internet dry? Did he just say that? Is that really something that wasn't a very obvious innuendo in 2003? Like, I, I don't... I, see, I don't know much, guys, but I feel like that was always a little bit dirty. I am just gonna keep making hackers. That seems like the best strategy in this game whenever you have options for it. Just not running out of cash. I recommend this in real life too, man. If you can figure out a way to never run out of cash in real life... I mean, I haven't found anything like it, but I, can I got an email recently about one of my uh, 
I think he's like a, a, a cousin of one of my uncles or something, who is a Nigerian prince. So I feel like I've just got that, you know, I, I'm just about to get that going in real life too, but I can recommend that for everybody. Yeah. Convoy sighted. <laughs> they have no idea we are here. They are entering the village, moving towards our ambush positions. Thank you, Argal. Hope you had a fun stream. Go, 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 go! Get the supplies! Luckily, we were promised an ankle cam by Argal. Please comply. There you go, dude. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Quite the spicy stream. We have finally liberated some more civilians. Excellent time for me to take their resources and go shopping with their credit cards. The Marauder tank? It can scavenge enemy Moving kills to- delivering aid supplies to the I'm gonna get it, whatever it does. We can put the supplies to better use than the villagers. <laughs> we can put the supplies to better use you than the villagers? Here. Really? Okay. Guys, we gotta we gotta use those. Yeah, the villagers they're they're gonna f spend money on useless things like what? food and clean water and like I, I don't know, dude. We we can make good use of it. Yeah, no, we're we're gonna buy some Twitch subs with that money. Another supply convoy has been sighted here. The UN? Oh my god! <laughs> This is so screwed. Nice. I only just now realized that, yeah. They have little uh, markings of the UN on their backs. So we gotta... Okay, we gotta be close to the path. I gotta get some Marauder tanks. United Nations doesn't really do much, guys. Come on. Clearly, they are gonna give it to the civilians. And do what? What do you think the civilians are gonna do with that money? What do you guys think they're gonna do? Feed their family? Why feed your family when you can buy... Tanks. The convoy has entered the region. Come here, Mr. Convoy Man. Ooh. Okay. Well, I've missed a couple of shipments. Oh, sorry, Mr. Civilian Man. Okay, I'm gonna park my dudes over here at this intersection. So wait, my mission objective is to get up to what? Twenty thousand. Taking outer supplies. We must stop what? The general. No. I saw you looking at the supplies, sir. Yeah, take him apart. Take him apart. We will not be oppressed, bro. No cost is too great. I, I can't believe this, honestly. They're trying to steal the stuff we were trying to steal. Our courage will be seen by all. Absolutely. Look how courage I am right now. The cunning of Stratholm was a very reasonable thing too, guys. One of the best decisions Art has ever made. <clears throat> good, 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 good. Good. Hey, hey, lady. Yes, I know. It still run. Find me a crash site. It still run. Hang on. Yes, I know. It still run. Bro, this guy would suck at Mario Kart. Load it. Hey, bonus points. You and convoy has been sighted. Find me a crash site. Okay. Find me a crash site. Ba ba da da. Threads tighten. I gotta be careful with how much I'm enjoying this mission. It could be uh, considered weird. I gotta pretend that I don't enjoy it too much. 
Oh, they killed one of my guys! Yeah, yeah, exactly. I gotta make sure I don't enjoy it too much, otherwise I get cancelled, you know? I wouldn't want that. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Ooh, jeez. My bad. All right. So I need forty thousand dollars. I like that these guys use American dollars. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Of course they use American dollars. You know that episode where Ron Swanson goes to uh, to London for the first time and he tries to buy stuff using American dollars? I'm getting that vibe right now. And secret them in their homes. Level those homes if you must. Just get our supplies. Villagers have supplies stored in their houses? Oh, for f sake. I'll be sorting through your scraps. You got something for me? Supply things. Shooting at the gas station may be a dumb idea. We will be protected in there. Yeah, we will be protected in there, absolutely. Do you think there's money inside of this guy's home? Oh, see? Thief! Thief! You got something for me? Can't believe they took the supplies of the United Nations and then decided it was theirs. So these guys are supposed to be good when it comes to taking down planes? Yeah, 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 yeah! Excellent, excellent work. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Am I the bad guy? Sometimes I'm getting the vibe that I'm getting the, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm kind of the bad guy. No cost is too great, though. Okay. Nearly there. Oh, we already did it? I feel like the GLA announcer is trying to seduce you. Yeah. 40,000 American dollars. Take down the plane. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, uh, you know. He's trying to seduce you. This is the voice he uses when he's trying to radicalize the uh, citizens as well. It's you know, kind of nice. We can use this army of the street. <laughs> oh my God! These are the new I units I got. Our brethren can loot the city for resupply. <laughs> Jeez! I get the angry mob. All units. I get a guy with a. Uh... Anyways. He's got a red plate armor. I played this when I was a kid? This explains a lot. Like, you guys see the end result of collect 40,000 American dollars. Of course, in a mission where the GLA goes up against the Chinese in the beautiful country of Kazakhstan, we use American dollars. <laughs> I think that's a pretty reasonable thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else would you use, Loco? I don't know, dude. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Uh, this is not the friendliest campaign, no. These people are, are destroying their own city, though. They might be football supporters. Maybe they could change them for football supporters in countries where this was originally banned. They're trying to liberate. Yeah. That's, they're the good guys. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 buddy! And I'm the one committing more crimes here, gamers! 
Wow. I can't believe it. They have dragon tanks. They were like, yo, drag on these nuts, and then I, I died. Would be nice if there was something like a hospital or something so I could heal up my troops. Should I be making a base, by the way? I thought I just was supposed to go at $40,000 and that was it. I wonder if I should be building a base. Just like the previous mission, I have to collect 40 grand. Yeah, I'm already at 33 now. That's pretty good. It looks like we actually get new mobs or something. Like maybe new units join in. Forty thousand is not even a deposit on a house. Well, maybe in Kasakhstan it is, no? Earn a cash bounty for every enemy unit or building you kill. Wait, I already did the mission. I made no structure. I did nothing. Okay, these mobs were pretty good. These were the easiest war crimes I've committed so far. I will try to hurry. I've tried building those like 17 America. times now. The higher order. Oh, there's a... I forgot about them. Wait, are you okay, bud? Kick up some dirt. Are you... Are you okay, buddy? Would you like to try some? There is enough for everybody. There is enough for everybody? Shower anyone? No, you idiot. Fuck. Our way is through. We will not be hindered. Our courage will be seen by all. If I see one keck W in the chat, just right away. Right away. Ban. From the channel. Right away. No hesitation. <sighs> okay, I'll save it here, I guess. Building construction has been completed. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm the one committing war crimes? Holy shit, dude. Freedom, baby. <laughs> that was more freedom than I'm comfortable with. Okay, I lost a lot of dudes. Oh my lord, okay. This has become a bit of an issue now. I am getting destroyed! Luckily there is some money for killing these enemies though. So where exactly do I send it? Right over here, right? I love a crowd. <laughs> oh my god, it is those. Du <laughs> it's these guys. I love a crowd. <laughs> That's so. F That's really messed up. I love that they didn't hold back now. That's so fun. Also, a little screwed up. I love a crowd. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, personally, I don't really mind such things, but I also understand that not everybody feels particularly comfortable with that sort of stuff. So, um, I'm supposed to detonate these these trucks? Do I just do it anywhere? I I guess I guess I'll see how it goes when I detonate them. Was that the way I was supposed to do it? That was a bigger explosion than I thought it was gonna be. I'll be honest with you, I did not think that the explosion was gonna be that large. That's not what she said. No! Well, uh, it looks like the save that I made was, um... 
It's a nuke loco? Yeah, but I've seen video game nukes before, guys. Plus, there's nukes in this game that we have already dealt with that weren't quite that large. Look, you see our new volcano? A new volcano right now in Iceland? Bro, you guys always have volcanoes going on. This volcano is called Burbjörn. They gave him a name. Burbjörn, Svartsengi, and Husafell. These are live streams right now. Oh look, they, ha they have nighttime again. You guys have nighttime again in Iceland? Sort of. I don't look, it's dark. It's a lot more spectacular during the during the night. I remember a little while ago whenever uh, Argyle would link me uh, an active volcano in the middle of the summer or whatever, it would just be light around the clock. There would never be nighttime. And in the winter, likewise, very dark the entire time. And you're like, oh, this is depressing. <laughs> That was last year? Yeah. Look, here's an American drink. An American drink. Big Bite Hot Dog Sparkling Water. Big Bite Hot Dog Sparkling Water. What, what am I even looking at? Is this hot dog flavored water? That looks really nasty, dude. I'm not gonna lie. House of Miracles. They did it again. They did it again. Also, guys, very sad observation right now on Twitch. But I hate to break it to you all. Our community guidelines are designed to help Twitch save, blah, blah, blah. Starting on Friday, which is today, content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed anymore. So I have decided to send my transparent chair back to Amazon. The green bikini that I had on, on order, I've canceled it. We are no longer uh, playing Fortnite on my ass. I know. I know, it's a sad day to be a streamer. But no worries. Twitch is always doing this thing where they are actively responding to what they... What they have come up with, right? The, the, the Let's just say that the community that does these sort of streams, they're very... They're very quick. They're very quick to make adjustments. So I don't really know exactly what they will be doing next. They're very creative, absolutely. Can we go to the just chatting section on Twitch right now and see what's going on? Just chatting. Are they doing okay? There's... What? This is surprisingly chill, guys. This is all very chill. There's a lot of clothes currently going on here. Like, back in my day, right? Back in my day? We would just watch po I'm, I'm, no, 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 we would never have watched- no, 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 no. Sorry. Did it work? To be fair, this is not quite peak hours yet. On- on Twitch, okay? We have to wait another two hours or so. And then... Uh, we will have to recheck this again. But this is surprisingly chill. Yeah. I mean, not all of them. You know what's funny? Like, sometimes I scroll through the just chatting section on Twitch, and I'm afraid that my stream is gonna be banned. <laughs> like, I feel like I scroll through this this freaking website that is... And I feel like just me looking at these, these thumbnails sometimes would get, you know... <laughs> Fursuit Friday? That is the first time I've heard of Fursuit Friday. But fair enough. No, this is all... There's a lot of just chatting streamers, dude. It's a very popular category. What about the hot tub section? Uh, pools, hot tubs, and beaches. This is my favorite... Th this, this, is, this is my favorite pools, hot tub, and beaches live stream. Yeah. This, this, one's, this one's excellent. I love this guy. I love this, I love this monkey primarily because he do, like, he, he looks like your average truck driver who's been doing this for many, many years and he still loves it, but he's very comfortable about it though, you know? He's just kind of like, you know, hand out of the window, kind of cruising, like he's been doing this for decades. Isn't it also kind of amazing that these apes can actually freaking drive cars easy peasy? Look at him. This guy's, he's chilling. Look. <laughs> oh my god, that was a great shot. Touching the touching. <laughs> He's touching the grass too. Very nice.
Isn't it kind of amazing though? The fact that apes can use tools like this? And so casually. Yeah, he follows the road, he's not gonna hit anything. Yeah. This guy is gonna boot up some, some StarCraft ladder, play some Protoss. On the Brute War ladder. If Artosis' stream is to be believed. I think they actually did a bit of a racer on the gas pedal, did you see that? There was like a razor on the... On the gas pedal, like there was like a, like a, like a, I don't know, like a 20 centimeter block. Orangutan ASMR on YouTube? I have never looked for orangutan ASMR, but I will have to look this up now. Orangutan ASMR. Orangutan Freddy tries a few snacks. Is this guy using a, a spoon to eat cornflakes? Dude, you know what actually, what kind of blows my mind about orangutans? Is like their faces are very... Like their eyes and stuff look very human-like, very frequently. Like, you can tell that these guys are intelligent. Like they're, they're you know, not quite human levels of intel- but they're not dumb. And then at the same time, these guys could literally t tear your arm off. Like, they could literally grab your arm and just pull it. And they, they could just fuck you up in, in a heartbeat. <laughs> why is he using... <laughs> why is he... Why is the orangutan using a straw? Oh, he really is liking those cornflakes. <laughs> Threw the glass on the floor. What the heck, man? It looks like they have carpet. <laughs> I've seen kids do that. I've seen kids do that. <laughs> Here's Freddy. I like Freddy. Oh, it's the worst vegetable. The thing is, say Freddy flips the table while you're recording a video, right? What do you do? Do you go in there and you, you put the table back up? What if this guy grabs your arm and decides to rip it off? <laughs> they basically have four heads. This guy could be a Twitch streamer. Let's be real here for a second, dude. I have seen streamers do this exact thing in the just chatting section. Yeah, they'll be all they'll be advertising their OnlyFans. Freddy didn't put that shirt on by himself. This is kind of <laughs> I have seen people do that too in the just chatting section. This is kind of like a toddler, except he's incredibly powerful. It, it's, you know, what if your, your four-year-old, what, what if your three-year-old, whatever. What if your very young child also happens to be able to flip cars? Like, fully-sized ones, you know? Is he eating rice cakes? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great video. I love this video. <laughs> That was inappropriate, Freddy. I don't actually think that was Freddy. I don't think it was Freddy. <laughs> Prince. Prince is a Chad, dude. That's how I usually eat popcorn too. I just scoop it all in my mouth. This guy is eating full bell peppers in one bite.
Great stuff. I like that. Yeah. Is that the artist formerly known as Prince? I would imagine it's a different one, but... Whoa, do you think he peeled that apple? Why the fuck did they peel the apple for the orangutan? Is this an orangutan with an attitude? It really is like a toddler, yeah. Dude, they're pretty animals, though. Look at that. Look at this Giga Chat over here. Is that Freddy? I think I might be Freddy. I don't know. This guy's a bit of a derp. <laughs> a giant ginger? Well, he's an orangutan. What a great video. They look very cuddly here. Can we do like a... Uh, this? Can I find like a strength test for an orangutan? There's gotta be a, an example of how strong an orangutan is somewhere. I have no idea. Well, I can't find anything right now, but I feel like they could mess you up easy. Easy. Orangutan strength is estimated to be about five to seven times that of a human. They can easily lift up to twice their body weight. Their grip strength is approximately 270 kilograms. That's a lot of grip strength. So these guys don't do any strength training, right? That's kind of the thing. Like, if you could teach an orangutan how to bench press, they would f*** you up really easily. Don't shake hands with an orangutan. No, don't do that. Unless they're kind of chill about it. But, you know. Oh, they could easily squeeze your hand to bits. Yeah, for sure. You see monkeys at the gym all the time? There are some strong guys at the gym that I go to as well, yeah. You don't trust any animals with thumbs? Look at this, Pig General. Am I making you uncomfortable right now, Pig General? Ooh. Sick, right? Kinda. That was a bit weird, I agree. Male orangutans can reach about one and a half meters tall, females 1.2 meters. Female orangutans only go upwards of 55 kilos? Really? I thought they'd be heavier. The male orangutans go twice that much. Male orangutans go 93 to 103 kilograms. So they're pretty much humans. Just a bit short, maybe, but... Probably much stronger? No, 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 not probably. They are definitely much stronger. You forgot to call your mom about your new VIP status? You mean your VIP-ness, as I like to call it earlier today. You forgot to call your mom about that? No worries, dude, I already called her. I'll let her know. She knows, she knows. Is that what I literally said? VIPs are worthless now? I did devalue your VIPness, I guess. <laughs> Hello? me. I genuinely did not mean to say VIPness. I meant it to say... I meant to say VIP dash N-E-double-S. VIPness. I didn't want to devaluate the VIP-ness. Ah. No! Slander! Slander! You meant what you said? You said what you meant? Does this work? Does, Does this work? work? Oh my god, I'm live. It worked! It freaking worked! Yeah, the audio is going to be annoying. I think the audio is going to be a little bit of a miss. How's the quality, guys? It's fine. It's all right. It's not that bad. Okay, so the way I've got this set up... Hmm... Did I disconnect? Tell me I didn't disconnect. We're back. So that's my main concern. Um, that is my main concern. The fact that I am running, I am running off of Wi-Fi. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know if that is like a, a thing I can do. 
So I can actually plug in a cable. I can actually plug in an internet cable. It's just that I don't currently have a proper connection in this room. Welcome to my hand stream. There we go. This is my, yeah. I could run a really long cable. That is optional. Yeah, that, that is definitely a thing I can do. So I, I want to kind of test. I want to kind of test and see whether or not this works. I wonder, like I have a door that I closed right here. So here's what I did. Here's what I did. I opened both doors. <laughs> My Wi-Fi um, signal is in the room that I normally stream from. And I closed both of the doors. Do you think it's going to be more stable if I leave both of the doors open? We're doing an open door policy today. Yeah. Walls definitely include... Yeah. Walls def... Oh. What happens if I shake... Okay, if I shake the desk, everything falls apart. So the way I have this set up right now, you guys want to see how I have my, my, my phone right here? Can you guys see this? This balancing act is what is holding the camera. It is not great. You think 2.4 gigahertz penetrates walls better than 5 gigahertz? I want my Wi-Fi to penetrate, bro. That's what I want it to do. That's what we really want. Hey, so how is how is the internet now? Are we stable? Do we have any real issues? Is it okay now? Dude, I'm telling you guys, the door makes all the difference. I look older. I look older than five minutes ago. Maybe I should turn off the light. There we go. Do I look younger again now? I age very rapidly. This camera does make me look older. I don't know, guys. Camera quality adds 10 years. I also don't really know exactly how good the audio is. Is it okay? Like, is the audio all right? I don't see anybody complain. It's fine. The audio is really good. Wait, it is? So I put a rug in here, a rug that we weren't using anymore. I guess I can show you guys this room. Hold on. I put a rug in here. Those are, those are cat toys. I put a rug in here, which I think reduced the echo quite a bit. This is where we usually dry our clothes, because obviously we hang dry our clothes, because we're not, you know, crazy. I have a bookcase over there. It's not very exciting. No, it's a very empty room. Anyways, and then lastly, am I doxing myself? Maybe I shouldn't dox myself. Lastly, also, yeah, this is a standing desk. So I don't know how good a standing desk is really going to be for streaming. I live in the Netherlands, I do, yeah. It's very slight echo, but nothing to complain to a new streamer until he can afford real equipment. Okay. Yeah, this is like our spare room, uh, Formless Void. We, uh, we don't really use this room all too much. We usually just use it for laundry and like, um, you know, hobby stuff. If I ever have kids or whatever, it might transform into another room, but as it is right now, it's pretty chill. This is the baby room. Nah, I mean, the audio is very fine for me. You might get something for the iPhone so it doesn't fall off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is my phone. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah. One more problem. Another, another issue that I may run into. So like I said, I'm doing this on my phone. However, I'm not sure if my phone, while it's charging, can charge fast enough for it to not run out of battery. I should check what my battery is currently at. Hold up. It's currently at 100%. Okay, my battery is currently at 100%. So if my battery is at 100%, we can test, I guess, and see if it works. Even if it discharges very slowly, it should be okay. iPhone quality is actually great. Did not expect that. Okay, be sure to add this to your Loco setup page. You know the craziest thing about this? I'm gonna test something and see if it works. I am fairly sure I can disconnect my phone's cable. Yeah, it takes a- look at this magic. How does this work? How can- How does that work? I don't even understand. I can- hold on, I want to see how far I can go. It's just that I don't see the stream. I'm gonna- okay, okay, I'll be back. Well, I guess I'm taking you guys with me. This- does this still work? I have no idea. This is usually where I stream. That's Lenny, right there. I don't have the ch I don't have the chat up. I don't have the chat up. Did that work? 
That's crazy. It's like three meters? Well, that's true. Who plays the piano? Me, poorly. Go downstairs? I don't know if I want to go that far. There you go. This is the area you guys have never seen before. Never seen before footage. Crazy. Yeah, that's the piano. <sighs> so I wonder, I could turn this into a sitting setup. Oh my god. Does this break stuff? All right. I am surprisingly, or I'm actually kind of surprised with how well this has been working. Yeah. I got this light a little while ago after a bunch of people recommended it. So it's like a light that, so it's like this. It's a light that like connects to the top of the desk and I can like turn it off like this. And I can change like the color intensity or the light intensity, I guess, which is really nice for painting. <sighs> you must have that. It is from a, a brand called Neatfy, I think. Okay, so this is what I wanted to build, guys. This is a new model that they came out with recently. It is by far the biggest model, even though it's a miniature, um, that I have ever had. And I figured maybe I can build it on stream. I don't know about painting it on stream. I also don't know how good I am at actually putting this together. I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a mess. Look, that's not even twice the size of my flat. There you go, dude, I'm sorry. That's gonna be a bastard to paint with all the texture. Probably, you're probably right. Um, so for those of you unfamiliar, the way that these things work is they come like this. So you have like a base and then you actually have to glue them together. Yeah, I will do sub assemblies for this because otherwise I don't think it's really gonna be manageable. So you get these these screws, and then you basically have to put them together, kind of like a, like an Ikea thing. <laughs> Where's the paint vibrator? The paint vibrator is over here. Um, Laurent made fun of the paint vibrator when I first got it. So here's the way it works, okay? Say, for example, I want to shake up this paint, right? I can take the vibrator, like so, and just push the paint down. It's really nice. I bought it from Alibaba for like 20 bucks. It was really good. It's straight from China. Yeah. Um, it just, it definitely does look a little bit fancy. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is straight from AliExpress. Yeah. It's actually quite good though. It just kind of looks like I have something that should not, you know. So this is actually meant, I think, to mix up like medicine or something or at least that's the original intention and like uh people use it for mini and also for like i don't know like tattooing ink and stuff usheron is one of the older vampire counts from the early days i have no idea dude so this is age of sigmar i don't really know anything about the game itself but i like painting the models yeah basically it creates like a vortex on the inside of it pete okay so the way that this works is we got to find the parts so for step one, step one A, we gotta find parts six, seven, and eight, which is gonna be his leg. And we gotta try and put that together. That's it, man. We can give you the constant chat count. That'd be great, guys. No, I think I can actually add that to my stream. 420, Twitch statistics. Oh, here we go. I have my Twitch statistics button right over here. Look, right over there, dude. This is what you look like, by the way. Wave hi to mom. She's watching, she texted me or no, 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 that's inappropriate. You look great, you do look great, Rumpus. <sighs> okay, um, so usually the build order is to try and tidy these sort of things up a little bit. So like, for example, I don't know if you can see. Um, can you see that? I should probably focus. How do I do this? Does that focus? You can kind of see the, the cut and like, sometimes like you can see the, the line where the stuff got connected from the malts that they use, but it's, um, 
He had a little nubs. So I have I have like a, a hobby knife over here, and then I also have some whatever you call these, like files, I guess. So before we paint it together or we, we put it together, we gotta make sure that all of these parts are actually good. Look out, he's got a knife. Yeah, it's like a scalpel. It's basically a scalpel. I learned in North American school that last names came from your occupation and career that you had at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the origins for um, for the American last names is. But at some point over here, we had this dude called Napoleon who was like, yo, guys. Maybe you should do things the normal way. And use, you know, standard measurements and last names and have your numbers for your houses standardized and all that. And that's, I guess, when people pick last names. Doesn't sound very free to you. No, no, he was, uh, you know, he made himself emperor, so. You work with someone whose last name was engineer and they were an engineer? You just gotta do it just for the gag, even if you don't like engineering, right? Even if you're gonna waste your entire life doing something you hate. If your last name is engineer, you gotta be an engineer. I don't make the rules. Maybe I should be glad my last name has nothing to do with beer. Yeah, what if my name was Heineke? Maybe I'd be an alcoholist, you know? Not be ideal. Yeah, what if you're what if you're an engineer who became an architect? That'd be embarrassing. Imagine you have a meeting with an architect whose last name is engineer. Did that guy fail? Or succeed? People wouldn't make fun of it for sure. You know a urologist and his last name is Little John? You're not kidding? I'm telling you, man. My theory holds strong. Do a thumbs up. What? You have thumbs down on your Mac, we can see. I have what? Wait, what? Did, did an animation show up on stream? What the f is this? <laughs> oh no! I don't like this. No. I'm streaming from a Mac. Does that work? It's a mech feature? It doesn't work. I was wondering why you guys said thumbs up. Why do we, Dude, you guys pointed out the other day, right? Like, this is like a week ago. You guys pointed out that my thumbs are... Ah. We're good? Hello? Are we back? I accidentally paused the recording on my phone. Somebody said on stream the other day, and I can't not see this anymore now. Somebody said on stream that my thumbs are very long. Are my thumbs long or what? They look huge, bro. Why do my why does, the, why does my thumb look so long? <laughs> I've got huge thumbs, man. Yeah. You know what that means, right? You know what that means? Big gloves. Yeah. I need to get large gloves. Yeah. I do have pretty large hands usually, yeah. Long thumb, long jaw. That's how it goes. That extra inch went to the thumb. <laughs> God could have put the extra inch anywhere. Decided to put it on the thumb. Uh, come on, man. My character creation screen was randomized too many times. God was just smashing randomize. Ended up with long thumbs. Embarrassing. That's why you have short thumbs? Yeah, sure. Should have re-rolled? Some, some people believe you can re-roll. I don't think so, though. Double thumbs up? Does that work? Whoa! What the f*** is this? That's actually kind of sick! Awesome! Wait, what else do they have? A peace sign? That's peace, right? Hey, there it is! Oh my god! What the heck? Dude, look, look, at, look at the camera over there though, the small camera? Some of the balloons are behind me! Like, there's actual processing going on here. You see how they actually are doing life? That's wild. 
Can I do this on the mainstream? I could, but I would have to... Um, I would have to switch to streaming from a Mac, which I don't think I want to do. It's fine for streams like this, but... By the way, how's my phone battery doing? Yeah, my phone battery is discharging slowly. Maybe it's because my screen is on, though. Hold up, I'm gonna try and lock the screen. Okay, I locked the screen. Is that... Is that okay? I think it's fine. So now the screen is black. What other, what other things can I do? Sorry, what else can I do? Double thumbs down also works? Can you click links that aren't from Thord? I'm scared of clicking links, dude. Before you know it, you're gonna have a f tattoo around somebody's uh, belly button, for example. No, I'm just kidding, Thord. I'm just kidding. You didn't post any link. I know, I know. It was actually a really funny video. I checked the video again after the stream. It was actually a really good video that Thord linked at the time. It just threw me way off because I looked at it and I thought I saw it. Anyways, it was actually a great video. Okay, so we have a couple of things. We have hearts. I feel like the hearts don't really work very well. Maybe I should do that one instead. Does it work over there? Yeah, it does work over here. Okay. Double thumbs down. Wait. Oh, no, it just did one over here. I think I have to see both of my hands. Hey, there it is. Everybody knows that rain is double thumbs down. To show lasers, make signs of horns with both your hands? Oh, it works over there. Oh, sh dude. <laughs> okay. I feel like the double thumbs up is easy. That one's kind of cool too. The double thumbs up seems very reliable. Yeah, it works so smoothly though. You know what's crazy, dude? So I got this laptop like two years ago, right? It, no, I think maybe a year and a half or so ago. It's the M2 MacBook Air. I really like this laptop. I know not everybody is a fan of Apple products and that's fine. But this laptop for some reason doesn't have a fan. Like it, it, there's no fan in there. It doesn't get hot. And I'm streaming from it while running multiple cameras and doing all this shit and it's totally fine. Like why is it, to why is it so easy? It's using 5.6% of the processor right now, using 254 megabytes of RAM to run this stream. That's nutty. It's completely silent. Like I actually, the, the, the efficiency is nuts. Yeah, not to turn into an Apple fanboy, but they really, like the amount of power draw that I got from my PC is, is like literally like 20 times this. It's crazy. The hardware is actually so efficient. Yeah. I actually didn't think I was gonna be able to stream comfortably on this and I'm using like five to 6% of my processor. I wonder what happens if I do this. Does it use significantly more? Yeah, 6.6. .6. It does push my processor use up about 2%. <laughs> All right, fair enough. You just wish there wasn't an Apple markup on the hardware? Yeah, I think this laptop is gonna last me a long time though. What I do like about Apple products is that like this laptop is still gonna be worth some money even in like, you know, if I sell it in like four years, I can still sell it. Kind of difficult to do, I found. Like I tried doing that with a Windows laptop I had. And nobody wanted to buy it. <laughs> nobody wanted to buy it. What happens when you do fireworks and lasers at the same time? Mm. You think my voice sounds nicer like this, Thor? I sound more human? Really? I have a bit of processing on my main mic, that's true. Do I sound substantially different? You can probably sell it online for a bit more than that, Bunny, but yeah. I sound more lively on my... Wait, I sound more lively here? I sound better here? Bro, I'm using my phone. This is literally my phone's microphone. It's definitely more echoey here because I have no sound deadening. It, it should definitely sound worse, yeah. You sound human and not as perfectly plastic. Ooh, are you calling me Barbie, Magdavas? Sick, dude. I always wanted to be Barbie. You guys are saying I sound too good on my computer and because of that, it sounds like I'm less human? That is hilarious. The sound is too clean. Luckily you inspired me to build the metal earth models. Oh, sick, dude. Bro, I need to, I need to not like, I'm not gonna do it like this anymore. 
I'm not, I'm, I'm moving the books first and foremost. And I'm gonna find, like, assuming I wanna do this again, in the, assuming I wanna do this again in the future, I'm gonna find a tripod. This is too dangerous. Yeah, I need a stand for this. This is very sketchy, dude. Just move it a few degrees to the front so the angle is more at you. I can definitely turn it a little bit. That's no problem. I just don't really wanna, like, I mean, moving forward, assuming I wanna do another stream from here, which I probably will. I'm kind of enjoying this. I don't know about you guys, but I would like to. Loco is so rich from YouTube money. Okay. All right, Rexor. Rexor is telling me that I am rich. All right, Rex. All righty, Rexor. Never have I seen a more fashionable man around Krefeld than when Rexor visited. Pretty sure Rexor's coat could buy half the city. Guys, it's been a fantastic stream. Hope you enjoyed hanging out here today. Dude, he did have a nice coat. Yeah, Thor does it. Or sorry, Rexor does have a nice coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked very comfortable. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for being here. Hope you enjoyed hanging out. I'll be back again on... Oh, I don't have an end stream scene over here. So instead I'm gonna be the... Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that awkward thing where I just click the end stream button and then the stream just disappears. Now, yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. There's no, you just have to imagine your name scrolling across the screen right now. But I can maybe do this. And then call it a day. See you guys.